Hello, hello everybody! We're here! Oh, it's been a, it's been a morning already. Um, no, I, I didn't just wake up. <laughs> I've been awake for three hours already. <laughs> no, no, um, we, we had some ant issues going on. We had some ant issues going on, um, that I was dealing with. I wasn't sure if the starter song was safe or not, so I've had this muted because I wasn't really sure. Yeah, there's some ant issues and Wind was helping with that. And at the same time, he was making us some breakfast. And so everything kind of got pushed back, <laughs> pushed back a little. And <laughs> for Wind. He's very he's very much trained by me that the moment you see ants you stop everything and you fix the ant situation. <laughs> Cause that's very much how I am. I'm like, if you see ants, no, you don't just ignore them. You immediately start fixing the ant situation. <laughs> it's like we must be careful of the ants. Don't let them grow. Uh, when did you judge my dragon? Did you? What? I am so confused. <laughs> Wynn's gone. He went to work already. Um, what do you mean judge? No one judged your I am so confused. <laughs> I am so confused. Is Nerf having a different conversation than me? I... <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, Nerf one. Okay. No, he's not here right now. He's already left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he he's already had to leave to go to work. Um. No, and then like right before I was gonna hit start stream and I was saying bye to him, I realized I hadn't highlighted any of the streams from last week because I told myself on Sunday I was gonna do it, and then guess what? I didn't do it. <laughs> So I had to do that quickly before I started to stream because I really didn't want it to get messed up. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot to turn that on. God, I am just all over the place today. Hold on, we'll fix that. We'll fix it, it's fine. Look, I can make it, I can, I can fix it. Look, I'll make it, it'll appear. I don't know, because I was trying to decide, I was like, I don't know where I need to be. I was like, I don't know where I need to be. And so then I got sidetracked. Hold on. We're getting on stream. On stream, it's happening. Enjoy. <clears throat> it's okay. I haven't even turned the game sound on yet because I was worried that the, because the music had like talking in it. So I don't know where I need to be on here though. That's the only problem. I'm not sure what would be a good place for me. Nowhere. Me being gone might be the best place. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's not here right now. Sadly. He's gone. He's at work. He's doing work people things. Well, he's driving, let's be honest. He's not. A decade of streaming professionalism. <laughs> yep. I'm so professional, guys. Alright. Let's turn the, turn the sound on. We have the operator. It's been a while since I played any form of game like this by myself, so this might be a fun time. <laughs> but I was really excited to get to play the operator. Get to see what's up. So let's jump into this. Let's jump into it. Okay, somewhere in the U.S. 1992. I am only one years old. If you will answer my questions as usual. One for okay. yes, two for no. Do you understand? Okay. Yes. Do you believe one. in extraterrestrial life? Maybe? Oh, he doesn't. Are you I don't. Restrained? Am I restrained? Are I am married? restrained. Am I married? Yes. Oh, I'm not Do married. Sorry, Wynn. <laughs> Do not work in law enforcement. Are you God? Do you know who you are? Oh no, that's a true question right there. 
It's okay, I do know who I am. Oh! <clears throat> Did you just curse at me? He bleeped my name out. My name is a curse word. We've learned it here first. <laughs> <clears throat> my name is a curse word? Your name is bad. My name is bad. It was cursed out. It was censored. My name is bad. I have a bad name. And he don't say you're not married, you'll track the Sims. <laughs> but the game said I wasn't married. Oh, 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 hey, we're launching a computer. Oh, it's like old school. Old school launch. Oh, okay. User and password. Oh, whatever I write just shows up there. Okay, so, okay. Evan Tanner. Well, that doesn't seem like a curse word. Everyone's screens look like that. <clears throat> Do I get to see my password? Uh. Okay. Okay. I just had to keep pressing the button until it stopped, I guess. I logged into my computer for the first time. Is there anything in the trash? <gasps> what is this? E. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, maybe put me in the other corner? Maybe put me over here. I feel like this is, like, my working screen area. So maybe I should be over here, because, like, this is where I, like, work. So maybe I'm a little bit less out of the way if I'm over here. I was pleased that X will be telling us the day the TV turned to color. No, not that old enough. But am old enough, you know, to have seen the old login. Alright, welcome to the FDI. You are assigned to the operator program. Please read the following document before proceeding. Alright, welcome to the FDI operator program. It's a federal... It's all federal governed... All right, the operator program has specifically designed to provide technical support for field agents, abbreviated as agents, while ensuring a high level of confidentiality. Okay, agents call the hotline. The calls are dispatched to secretaries who verify the agent's identity, clearance level, and request. The request is forwarded to the supervisor. The supervisor dispatches the call to an available operator. A direct line established between the agent and to the operator. Once the operator fulfills the agent's technical request, the line is closed. Okay. So, we're the operator. So we at least should know by the time they come to us, they should be a real person. At least. Please contact your supervisor if you have any other information. Okay. Oh! Mike Trent. Secure true. Okay. Hey, pal. I old up. Get all that booze out of you? Oh, uh, booze out of me? Sorry, I'm not following. What? You seriously don't remember? You wanted to celebrate your new job, and I quote, ahem, properly. Well, I'm okay. happy you're here. You and me at the FDI together. It's really great. But I gotta tell you something. When we're okay. on the job, I can't treat you differently than anybody else. You understand, right? Oh, I'm in the way! Oh no. This is gonna turn into one of those moments. Here, well put me right here. I'll be less in the way right here, maybe. 
This is one of those moments where I wish I had like one of those bat those layouts so it could be off to the side and the screen could be more full so we're not, I'm not covering things as often. Don't have one of those. Nowhere is safe for me to stand. Some games it's fine. Some games I need one of those like setups. Um of course Mike, I mean director trend. Oh, oh yeah, he's the director. Sir, you're my director. Should you be talking to me like this? <clears throat> sure, by the way, how much does this pay? I guess the tables have turned, haven't they? Of course, Mike, I mean director Trent. Good. Sure. Well, I'd better run. The FDI can't run itself now, can it? Good luck with your first day. All right? Okay. All right, don't worry about me, Director Trent. I got this. You maybe shouldn't have said that I was out partying, though, on a thing that's being recorded. That would have been nice. Um, Xavier Skinner, supervisor. All right, hello. Good morning, Mr. Tanner. Welcome morning. to the FDI. Okay. I assume you're up to speed on your mission here at the operator program? Sure. Um, yeah, I read the welcome document. You know the basics. Good. So, just to recap, your job is to support our agents by providing them with all the help they need in the field to solve a case. That okay. help can come in the form of fact-checking, video and audio analysis, even okay. lab work. My job as a supervisor is to link the agents with an appropriately matched operator. Any questions? Um... No, I think I'm ready, sir. Fine. But first, you need to learn how to respond to an agent's request. Let's do okay. a dry run, shall we? I want right, you we're to find dry my run. age. I want you to this find my age. Just okay. Up at the top left of your screen, beside oh, yeah. the applications menu. See it? Whenever you're yeah. stuck or if you need help, simply click on the question mark next to the objective. Go on okay. and click on the question mark, Tanner. Question mark. Yes, just like that. You can always oh. click on the question mark if you get stuck, though I'm hoping this won't happen often. I'm giving you access to the human database. The human DB, as we call so it So it here. sends it to him that, he need, that we need you help. You can find this and other tools to help you solve agent requests in the applications menu. Now go ahead, okay. Operator Tanner. Solve my request. All right. Find All right. my age. When you find the answer, click on the objective and then select the answer on the screen. How do I... Operator, you should find the information first. Oh. Where am I looking? That's the welcome document. That takes you back. That's the trash. I can't open this file. I don't have the password for that. Ah, applications. Oh, notepad. Hello there, guys. I guess I'll probably all need that at some point. Settings. Oh, that's just like actual settings. Oh, it is all set up to be US. So I'm just anyone who's not US is going to just like want to th throw everything. All right, he said the human database. So we want to go here. Um, and then we want to search Xavier Skinner. We'll fix that. All right. Hello there, fellow FDI agent. <laughs> Birth date, age 48. Is that right? Is that correct? That's close enough. I don't know what what day of the of the what month it is, so we'll say that's probably correct. Right. Like
like that, Tanner. I'll let you get settled in. And I'll contact you later with your first real request. Oh, first real request. Of course, Supervisor um, Tanner Skinner. Thank you for this opportunity, sir. Yeah, I like that one. Thank you, sir. Oh. Headquarters, okay. Washington, D.C. 9.18 a.m. Okay. Oh. It's Supervisor Tanner again. Skinner. Tanner, looks like your first request I'm is Tanner. He's Skinner. baptism by fire. I have an agent oh. working a homicide. It's her first Ooh, a case, homicide. Too. Not ideal, but consider this a learning experience. I'll be monitoring okay. you in the background. All right. Uh, yeah, I look forward to the challenge, sir. I'm patching the agent through now. Okay. Alexandra Pendle. Hello. It's Operator Tanner, right? Uh, that's right, Agent Pendle. I don't think our paths ever crossed at the Academy, did they? Anyway, I got a homicide at a bar downtown called The Sanctuary. Oh, Ironic, the Sanctuary. No? My Vic, dead on arrival. Is okay. male, Caucasian, no, or Caucasian. He was shot in the head okay. at close range around oh, 2 a.m. Just before closing time. Okay. As far as evidence, I got some surveillance footage from the bar. And uh, some kind of ago. list that I found on the deceased. Any chance you can work your operator magic and help find me an ID on the shooter? I'll do my best. Thanks, operator. Okay. I'm sending over the files. Good luck. Alright. Oh. Okay. So we got cases from the bar. A camera shot. Is this him getting shot? Oh, yeah. Car coming over. Guy comes running. Damn! And then runs away. This is our cutting edge video analysis system, Tanner. Click okay. on any relevant elements in the video to trigger an analysis. Go on. Give it a whirl. Okay. We look at the car. Just like with the video, you can hey. click on photo for further analysis. All right, so we now know the criminal's the name of the 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 license plate. Oh, Ray Wells. Okay, it has not been considered stolen yet. Okay. Can we like find his face like in the in a database somewhere? Looks like our victim is Henry Jenkins. Hmm. For some reason, we can't access his full profile. Yeah, he's forbidden. For the moment, anyway, there's not much else we can learn about him. Okay, what was? Is there anything else to look at here? When the guy shows up, can I um look at him? Yeah, scan him. Can I see anything off of his face? Alright, can we scan his face? The footage Low quality. quality is okay. insufficient for a proper ID, operator. You'll need to find another way to ID the killer. Okay. Which we did learn something, because we got this. For the car. Alright, alright, we can close that. Which we got this information here. I think, okay. That's the list I found on the victim. It's pretty long. Okay. And to be honest, I got no idea who any of those people are. The bizarre thing is, that name at the bottom, it wasn't redacted when I bagged it. But I think it's irrelevant to our shooting here. Oh, so... No, they definitely redacted that name. All right, can we see anything about all any of these other names? Oh, can we search Ray in this? Okay, no Ray Wells in this. Henry? No, no Henry in this either. Okay. Okay. 
Well, we know... Find the killer's name. Well, it might be Ray Wells, I guess. Well, the car belongs to Ray Wells. Don't know if that's actually about the killer, but, you know, it, it belongs to him. Nice. That's a better way now, of saying it. First name. You got something for Wells' address? Because I'll take it if you do. Uh, yeah. His address is this address right here. No? Yeah, I don't think that's right, operator. Looks like it's the address for a car dealership. I don't think Wells oh. lives on the lot. What I'm looking Sorry, for my is bad. Wells' home address. Can you track that down? Sorry. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> right, that's that's my bad. It's fine. We'll search him in the database. God, he's got Oh, I'm an idiot. That's that's his place of birth. God, I need to read better. <laughs> I need to read better, man. All right, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Nice work. Next up is to bring Wells in. I'll keep you updated. Thanks, Operator Tanner. All right. Just doing my job. Hey, good luck. <laughs> yeah, can you use the slowdown? I'm too excited, man. I'm too excited. <laughs> I'll contact you later with your next request. Okay. Understood. Nice. First one done. I'm too excited. I gotta calm it down a little. <laughs> he needs to slow down and actually look at the look at the things. Alright. FDI most wanted. Please consult the FDI most wanted list. Fred Smorkskin wanted for mail and hand delivering several explosive devices to federal buildings. Reward ten thousand. Uh we'll send Boulder Hail. Real name unknown. Snorish, the leader of a uh, cult. Uh no day he'll yeah, cult. Okay. What's up? Tanner, I need you to follow up on an investigation started by a previous operator. I'll let the okay. agent working the case bring you up to speed. Of course. All right, Barry Walker. Oh, please. Tell me you got something. Sorry, I don't understand. God damn it. Who are you? <laughs> um who am, who am I? Who am are you? Operator Tanner at your service. Great. Every goddamn time we get a new operator, it takes me twice as long. I got a life outside the FDI, you know? Interest, yeah. hobbies, full-blooded oh, passion. Okay. I don't have time for this. Um, yeah, can you tell me about the case, Agent? I got a missing persons case out here in Dryfield. Okay. Oh, no Moore's wonder he's upset. I can't oh, no wonder he's upset. I can't believe I'm No, we this, we're not going to kill him. I understand why he's upset. By aliens. Everyone thinks she's abducted by aliens. Okay, in Nevada? Middle of nowhere. Hot as hell. Okay. Sandy. Calling okay. it a small town would be an insult to small towns. Um, uh, people actually think aliens were involved? Look, I think it's bonkers too. Another weird thing is over the past year, four people in Dryfield have claimed they've been abducted. And every oh. single time they reappeared somewhere in the middle of the desert out here about a month later. Connie's story's okay. the same. Yeah, I thought she's still missing. She was. Popped back up yesterday. Collected oh. her testimony myself. She had a camera. Okay, so she's not Naturally, missing. I like to look at photos. But to do that, I gotta go through you. An operator. Oh, sorry. Lucky me, right? <laughs> I am learning. I could probably move myself over a little more. There we go. All right. Yeah. What am I looking for? There's something off about all this. I mean, beyond all the talk of little green men, just look okay. for something that doesn't add up. Okay. 
Your core, your request is my command. No, thank you. I'm on it. <laughs> Here are the files. <laughs> I'm not saying that. All right, he's sending us files. Desert. All right, testimony. Uh, the following kind of reappearance on the fifth. Uh, record her eyesight testimony concerning her suspicious exposed alien abduction. All right. All right, Walker, can you please tell us about the day you disappeared? I was hiking in the desert out on the dry field. Sometimes I do that to clear my head or take photos. Photography is a hobby of mine. Okay. And is that your camera? Points at the camera. Yes, it is. Uh, what else do you remember about that day in the desert? All right. This is what she's got to say. Uh, well, it's a little blurry, but I wanted to hike around Mount Mori. Remember, I remember that. It's really beautiful at this time of year. I remember... I remember taking two photographs. Then I heard a loud noise coming from the sky. I looked up and barely had time to take another photograph. It it was just moving so fast. The ship, the UFO. And then I think it landed to the east. So I decided to head over to see if I could see anything else. Maybe take a photo of them. It must have taken me an hour and 45 minutes to go where it landed. Okay, so it took her an hour and 40 to 45 minutes to get there. All right, then what? Uh, I'm not really sure, to be honest. That's where my mind goes blank. The next thing I know, I am waking up in some some kind of room and I cannot move. All right, is there someone in this room with you? I don't, uh, I don't think about it, but yes, they were all around me. The aliens, what did they look, lo look like? Okay. The room was so bright, it looked like I was looking into the sun. I only saw the silhouettes. Yeah, tried to describe them. They were human, except they weren't. Something was off. They were too tall and thin. It dis it was disturbing, actually. I couldn't see their faces. I'm glad about that. Okay, what do you remember about the room? Well, it was white. I mean, entirely white. Antiseptic. It smelled sort of like a hospital. There were no doors, no windows, nothing. Just whiteness. All right. Uh, what do you think they wanted with you? Uh, I think they wanted to learn about me, to study me. I was so scared. I couldn't think straight. They kept asking me questions over and over again. What kind of questions? About my life, my family, my beliefs, everything. I guess that's why they do. Uh, that's what they do. Study humans. What else do you remember? They had strange voices, sort of mechanical. And there was a machine that they were using on me. It clamped to my head. I don't know what it was, but it hurt. All right, can you tell us anything else? Uh, not really. The next thing I remember, I am waking up in the desert outside a dry field. My head is throbbing, maybe because of the drugs or mind probes. I don't know. I just wandered around out there. Uh, luckily, someone found me, or I might have died from dehydration. I get, uh, Then I guess they called the cops, and the cops called you. End of story. Okay. Um, how are you supposed to have found anything if you'd only just sent the files? Yeah. Well, I think he was hoping that it was the same person he talked to last time, but it wasn't. He realized it was a new person. So he was gonna have to resend shit again. <clears throat> But yeah, they didn't send me any files before transferring him to me. They probably should have done that first. <clears throat> Alright, so... Phone, tower pings, and timestamps of the disappearance from the date and the day she reappeared. There are no pings between the disappearance. Okay. So it pinged, and that's probably her walking to the location. And then it dropped her off here and she just wandered? Yeah, okay. So yeah, this is her going out to take the picture and then her going to where she found the thing. And then she was dropped off over here and started walking this way. Okay. Do you think I can click on here? No, okay. All right, let's see the camera. Yep, that looks like Nevada for to ya. 
Yep, mountains, Roxy's. Oh, what the heck? That lines up from where they saw her start walking. She took a picture of that. Did I not look at anything? Sure, what am I supposed to be looking for? Um... I remember taking two photographs, then I heard the noise in the sky. It must have taken me an hour and 40 to 45 minutes. Yeah? If this is where they walk to, that's that's about an hour and a half. Um, she took two pictures, and then the picture of the thing, and then she wandered out. Oh, wait. The date on this is different. It was days later. Wait, how do I... Days later. Yeah, the photograph was taken 16 days after her di her disappearance. Jackpot. Connie said she took that photo the day she disappeared. Clearly, she, did. she didn't. Maybe the aliens ah. did funny things to her brain. Maybe her brain was funny to begin with. Do me a favor. Locate the position on the map where she supposedly snapped this photograph. Um. Well, based off of the time, it would have been here. All right. Now check this spot out. <sighs> Guess I gotta do a little hiking. Probably sweat my God <laughs> More than a little hiking, dude. Oh. Well, what just happened? My computer just broke. Uh oh. My computer just busted? Is there saying anything wrong? Everything's saying okay. <clears throat> uh oh. Hacked by Hal. Hey, there was the wanted. The wanted was Hal. Hal's one of the wanted people. Hal, oh, hello, Evan. Yeah, how do you know my name? I know many things about you, Evan. Yeah, what do you want? It's simple. I want the truth. Can you handle the truth? Yeah, what are you talking about? Let me show you something. Whoa, that's a lot of names. Do you remember that list found on Henry Jenkins? Yes. Yes, I remember this. You didn't see her name, did you, Evan? Oh. The abducted girl. Pretty big coincidence, don't you think? Oh. I also, oh, I assume you didn't notice 
that the out of the 136 people, 122 have been reported missing. No, I did not notice that. One last thing. This is the most important part. There's a name near the bottom that's been redacted. Yeah. Okay, that name is key to understanding everything. I have to go now, Evan. But I'll be in touch soon. Promise? If don't go, tell me more. Uh, and he's gone. Alright. Evan Tanner. Putting my password in. Is it your name? Oh no! Maybe it is our name. That can't be good. Um, hello? Operator Tanner, are you there? Agent Walker told me that your connection was suddenly cut. And when I tried to contact you, you were offline. What happened? Oh. My computer just, ooh, do we lie? Do we tell the truth or do we lie? We're gonna be truthful. Hal, I thought we had taken care of that problem. I will look into this matter immediately with our cybersecurity department. The second shift of operators has arrived. You can go home now, Tanner. See you tomorrow. And don't be late. Alright, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, power off. Oh, we went to a convenience store. Oh no, we're in an elevator? Oh, we're outside. Okay, that, I guess I was just leaving the building. Oh, we're in the train? And we're home. Why is it why, why can't we see anything? Oh, we have a kitty cat. Oh, we're smoking. Oh, we're a smoker. After a day like that, I guess we needed a smoke. We went on- we probably went out on the porch and we're like t having a smoke. Oh, our alarm is going off. Oh, we fell asleep. Okay, we're waking up. Oh god, bright light! What the fuck? Oh, okay. We're in the bathroom. We're taking pills? Okay. We're taking our morning pills? Alright, we're back at the headquarters. We're here very early. 7.22 a.m. It's weird on that, not even on the hour. Why is something called a daemon? There's a demon going on in our in our in our shit. Logging in.
Hey, Mike, what's up? Hey, pal. So, tell me, how'd day number one at the FDI go? Everything you had hoped for? I think it went well. All right. That's what I like to hear. Ah, sorry, buddy. My phone's ringing off the hook here. I gotta run. But hey, great job. And uh, just just keep plugging away, okay? I'm proud of you, Evan. Of course, Director Trench. Dude, you need to stop talking to me like we're we're friends on on the work phone. Operator Tanner, Agent Pendle has an update on yesterday's case. I'll patch okay. it through in a moment. But before I do, I wanted to let you know that from this point on, you'll talk to the agents directly. Time to cut the umbilical okay. cord. However, right. as your supervisor, I'll still be in the background monitoring your activity. Oh, I almost forgot. Our cybersecurity department is looking into this unfortunate matter with Hal. You can be assured that it won't happen again. All right. Of course. Don't ask questions. Good morning, Operator Tanner. So you Good remember morning. Ray Wells, right? Uh, yeah. So I checked out the address you gave me, but no sign of Wells. Then I get a call from Vice, and guess what? Wells was found dead in a downtown parking garage early this morning. Shot well, that's not good. Point blank range. Now I'm working two homicides, and it's my first week. Welcome to the FBI, Alexandra. Anyway, the garage has cameras, and I got some footage of Wells. That's the good news. The bad news? I don't have all the footage. Sort of weird, but part of it is They missing. took some? Oh, has it been tampered with? I don't know. Looks that way, doesn't it? I don't put much stock into conspiracies, but the timing is definitely suspicious. Anyway... Yeah, something's definitely suspicious here. I'm looking for anything that's different between the first and second half of the surveillance footage. Apart from Wells ending up dead and the blood splatter on the pillar. Sorry for okay. the vivid details. Alright, alright. There's gonna be blood, guys. Find something different. Okay. So he's over there. By a car. Oh. Then it cuts out. Static for a while. And he's dead. I guess scan him? Okay. No, can we? The light is on the beginning of the video, but it's off at the end. Yeah. Lights on there and then off. Um. I think that's the only difference, because it's not even letting me click anywhere else. It's the only thing I've seen is the light and then... Because this light that was shining there. Um. Yeah, I guess let's, let's send that in. Yep, the light is off in the second part. Look at that! Give me a sec, operator. I'm gonna check this out. Well, well, well. I just found a bullet lodged in the light's framework. I'm sending oh, nice. you a photo. Okay. Can you run an analysis and tell me what kind of bullet I'm looking at? Alright, let's run it. Um, it is a... Wait, 45 ACP. Forty-five caliber? I believe yep. that's what the military and police use. Well, that's something anyway. Thanks for your help, operator. Appreciate it. If only we had all of the footage. Anyway, I should get back to the scene. Keep digging and see if you can find anything else about our perp. Okay. A 
Hello, Hal. Look, I have a deal off. I have a deal to offer you. One that I think you'll find interesting. Not interested. Oh, well, you should be. You see, we share a common goal. You, me, and the FDI. Uh, you just don't know it yet. So, here's what I am going to do. I'll help you with the Wells case, but you have to help me later when I ask when I ask for you to do it. Do you have ourselves a deal? Man, you type like I do. Keep accidentally typing wrong and changing it. Yeah, why would I want to, um, why would I want to help a criminal? Because I are, as I already said, we share a common goal. And because without my help, you and Ancient Pendle will never solve this case. Wells Killer will still be at, on the loose. And sadly, you'll never climb the ranks of the FDI. Sad face. Can't do anything illegal. You won't be. I mean, apart from working with me. The world's most wanted hacker. How could you help me? How would you do this, huh? I have access to the surveillance footage from the garage. I mean, all of the footage. How did you get it? I don't have time to, to go into the technical details. No offense. But you probably wouldn't understand anyways. Why do they keep putting X? Hold on a sec. One sec. Sorry. Doing work outside. Alright, I guess Pendle could use her help. Yes, she could. And I could be her knight in shining armor. Heaven. So what we'll so I'll do is I'll go ahead and put this big juicy missing part back into it so you can watch it and solve this crime. If if um I'll help you if you help me. Yeah, won't this look suspicious though? If somebody asks you how you got the missing footage. Just say the analyst software restored it. It's supposed to be cutting edge anyways, right? So do we have ourselves a deal? Alright, we have a deal. Good. Now give me a few seconds to run my script. Oh... Yep, starting dame demon. Done. All right, the missing footage has been magically restored. I hope you have your popcorn ready. I'll be back a little later to collect my debt, Evan. Until then, ta-ta. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I guess when we... When the car show, shows up? Oh, no, didn't want to do that. Okay, can we scan the car at all? See, like, the person inside? Can we see him at all? Okay, who is he? I see that you ran the facial recognition software, and zero matches turned up, operator. That's... unusual. In fact, it shouldn't even be possible. Our FDI databases are exhaustive. 
I'll flag this issue for later. But go ahead and share the image with Agent Pendle. Uh, okay. Yeah, I have an image. Wait, I don't understand. How did you get this? Our software recovered the missing part. Well, this is huge. Thanks, Tanner. I'll canvas the area immediately. Maybe someone has seen our Prince Charming. I'll talk to you later. And thanks again. Just doing my job. All right, I guess this is after lunch. We've come back. We had our lunch break. Oh. Now, about that debt, Evan. All right, go ahead. I'm listening. Good. Now, I'm going to connect you to another FDI agent. Her name is Catherine Andrews. Just listen to what she has to say. Open up your terminal and type the following command. Call this number. Okay, non-secure. Okay. Call 187-222-19... Oops. 19-98. But then we want it to be no secure. Okay, will it do it? Oh, picture is not available. Hello, Operator Tanner. Hal told me that you'd be calling. So what is this about? Okay, I'll try to keep this short. About a month ago, I started working on a missing persons case. A woman reported that her husband had been gone for over 48 hours. Almost right away, the case felt different. Red tape all over the place. An unusual lack of cooperation from my superiors and colleagues. Unanswered calls. Suddenly, the okay. FBI felt like the most incompetent department in the country. After an almost endless game of phone tag, I finally managed to get an appointment with a superior. The plan was to sit down and talk about the case first thing Monday morning. That Sunday night, I'm awoken by a phone call. The woman's apartment has burned to the ground. And the woman, what's left of her anyway, has been found dead in the ashes. Oh. Yeah, that timing sounds strange. Well, it gets worse. So okay. I started looking into the fire, of course. I... I couldn't help myself. Plus, I felt like I owed it to Mia. That was the woman's name. Mia Cole. Anyway, okay. it wasn't long before my superiors found out and pressured Is she me on to the stop. List? They told me the fire had been ruled accidental. The result of faulty wiring in her oven. They told me I was wasting my time and precious FDI resources by looking into it. And said if I continued, I'd end up pushing papers in a basement somewhere. But that fire, Operator Tanner, that fire was no accident. I can feel okay. it. Mia was murdered. I just have to prove it. That's why I'm hoping you can help me. Hold on. Nope, she's not on the list, though. I was curious if she was on the list of people. She's not. Okay. Um... Yeah, how do you know it's not an accident? Go ahead and search them in the human DB. The husband's name is Sasha. Sasha and Mia Cole. Please. Okay. Da, 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 da. So oh, hello? Why am I not clicked? Okay. Sasha Cole. Oh, okay.
Oh, the ads are starting. Okay. We'll have to take a second for the ads. We'll have to take a second for the ads, because in a game like this... <laughs> it's story 24-7, man. Oh man, we're getting into it already. So what's the cases file? Oh, we're like waiting. Okay, so we can see the different who we're like working with. Okay, and then we can see what cases are for them. Oh, okay, so this is the car registration database. So we can open up that too. We don't know what this password is here to unlock this. I wonder if it's like you just literally type in Hal or something. <laughs> I'm worried that this went away though. I'm not sure if like one of the things disappeared. It's a file that's password protected that was for deleting. Oh man. Oh, can I search Catherine? Okay. She exists. She's an FDI agent, so it's not a lie. So I guess we can close this and open it up from here. Which is also good to know. Also good to know. Also, Nerf's arm is driving him crazy. Is your arm sore or something? Have you checked the husband's name? Yeah, I did. It was fully, um, it was all blanked out. I didn't have clearance. It wouldn't let me see anything. Oh, the, the dragon's arm. Oh, okay, yeah, he was... I do remember Nerf was complaining about having to try to figure that part out and how it was going to be frustration. It's like, time to Google um, <laughs> lizard arms. <laughs> Time to Google lizard lizard arms. Yeah, if you didn't see it, uh, when you search Sasha Cole access for I can't even see the picture. I'm not even allowed to see the picture of Sasha. My clearance is, is not high enough. All right, ads are done. We can get back into this. All right, I don't have the clearance level. Just another coincidence, right? Look, I don't know why, but someone knows <gasps> oh, I'm looking into list. Sasha and Mia Cole. But we have to, Operator Tanner. It's our job. Who's going to do it if we don't? Can you help me find proof Mia's fire wasn't an no. accident? Nothing there either. Uh, yeah, how can I access their files, though? Yeah, take a look Do that. Then. Oh, thank you. As far as how to access the case files, that's not really my area of expertise. But you can ask Hal. Alright, how do I access the Cole files? Well, ask Hal. Funny, I was just working on this very thing. 
So, it looks like I can't give you direct access to the files, but I found a bug in the chat. You should be able to inject a query that will get you in. Just type this. Select from cases where... okay. Oh. Oh no, I have to make sure it's typed in right. Download... Or is this all the same? They look like they're all the same. Why is there three options? I don't like that. Sorry, I don't understand what that means, Tanner. What? Oh! Okay. <laughs> then maybe there was something wrong? Well, I tried that. It didn't work. Oh, jump! Fucking pieces of shit. Um, I do. I did not see what was Despite different being, about them. Well, a thorn in the side. You have to admit, Hal gets results. I don't know what was going on there. I don't get it. I I I obviously missed what was different about them. <laughs> okay. All right. So it was modified by someone. Um it is closed death caused by accidental fire stemming from malfunction and wiring. Okay. A lot of it is blanked out. The fire started around 2 a.m. and was sexually contained by 3 a.m. Okay. I mean, the duration of the fire metal evidence remained on the scene. A single victim identified as Mia Cool through dental records, tenant information, and wedding ring was discovered. The autopsy revealed no anomalies according to the cause of death to fire. No other signs of physical trauma were found. No indications of forced entry or a struggle were evidence in the home alignment with the finding of the victim's autopsy report. The file respond team report referred to refer to report blank. We don't get to know what that report is. Include the fire originated from faulty wiring in the oven. Okay. Alright. So Ring was with Sasha and Mia engraved on it. The photo with his Okay. Yep, does come up as Mia. Oh, you have opened a chemical sample. We have automatically given you access to the data report application. You can now find it with other applications in the top of your menu. Please use the reason. Re okay. Okay, all right, open the sample software start the input process settings to your sample formula found there after start the analyst prog process note that this may take some time once the analyst is complete open the report application input the results okay okay so God. Why are these so big? Okay. So it's ash, so it's a solid sample. Ion side is typically 6.0. If the material is organic, the ion size must be 3.5 to avoid damaging the side. Okay. I guess it's organic, so let's do 3.5. Alright, organic, 
sample weight in grams times 250. Okay. So the weight in grams is 4.2. Then we're going to times that by 250. So 1050. All right, threshold for a solid sample should be half of the delta. All right, so let's uh, divide that by two which gives us 525 and the matrix the default value of the matrix is 5 if you're using an older version of it 1.3 or lower you must set the matrix to 4 okay so this needs to be 5 then because of the it's above 1.3 No? What if I made that four? No, that was the only one that was right. Okay, so it must be considered a solid, but it's not organic, I guess? Okay. I guess it's not considered organic. Yeah, so 4.2 is just add the zeros to it. Yeah, makes it 420. All right, we fixed it, it's fine. It's calibrating. It's looking at it. It's all done. What are the results? All right, what did the results mean? All right, the chemical stand will give you a result of Anna's frequency response curve. Okay. These results are going to be given to the data. Okay. Okay, so we need this guy. Open up the report in the software, and in order to calculate the exact composition of the samples, the response frequencies must be entered from the highest to the lowest. Okay, there must be between one to five spikes or that are higher than the sh threshold. You can use your mouth to calculate the frequency. Okay. So 9.727. Next one is 245. And then it's 157. I'm doing all sorts of number writing here. Um, what is this top point? Oh god. 1060? I think. Ten sixty two, it actually looks like. Yeah, nine twenty season. Yeah, twenty seven. God, making sure you actually got that right is rough. Okay. Um, sample pH 1 through 14, 
But can I physically just put 1 through 14? No. How do I know what, like, the pH and stuff is? Oh, here. pH, uh, 6.5. And then 901. Is calculate? Gasoline, okay. Wood. Okay, what does this mean? Is it the gasoline with that? Yeah, there's traces of gasoline in the fire. I knew it. Faulty wiring might... You know what? This was no accident. So oh, right, because it said it was faulty wiring. I thought they said it was the but stove. Why? So I was like, that'd be gas. But no, it was faulty wiring. Um... Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Maybe I'll end up at a desk in a dark basement somewhere, but... I'm going to keep digging into this. It... it matters to me. Yeah, why is it so important? I grew to know her. Mia, I mean. With our line of work, you try not to get emotionally involved. That's what they teach you at the academy, anyway. Almost from the start. And usually, I can turn the switch off. I learned... What's happening? Uh Um I'm losing it. She's a mirror who wanted to find Oh, her husband was missing. Okay. So her husband is the one missing. Oh. That child of her own was everything that happened. It got to me. And then one day she and the baby were suddenly gone. Someone killed them, Someone killed them Operator Tanner. Someone killed Mia and her baby. Are you oh. still there? Um Yeah, I'm still here. Oh. Anyway, thanks, Operator. Because of you, I finally have proof. Knowing how Oh maybe I should have said something about what you said. <laughs> I have a feeling this won't be the last time you and me work together. Yeah, good luck. I maybe should have said something. She seemed she seemed like, oh, so you're just not fucking talking. Alright, so you found evidence proving that the fire wasn't an accident. Well done, Evan. Maybe there's hope for you yet. The way the FDI was handling the coal case. It's strange. Don't you think? Yeah, it does seem suspicious. Yeah, it does. I just don't know what they're hiding. Or why. Look. I know you probably still don't trust me. I'm on the F FDI's most wanted list. I hacked into your computer. I get it. But tell me something. Why would I bother going to the trouble of working with you, a low-level FDI agent? Sorry. <laughs> if I didn't have a good reason. Yeah, I have literally no idea. Maybe you're thinking about turning me into... Turn me in to get, some, get that reward, but it's too late. You're in too deep. Operator Tanner. Can I have a word? Of course, Director Trench. I see that you've uh, been looking into the database entries for Mia and Sasha Cole. You want to tell me why? Uh, yeah, I wanted to catch up on the case. I see. In the future, I want you to avoid anything related to Sasha and Mia Cole. It's a closed case. A total waste of your time. And if by chance something else pops up concerning the Coles, and this is very important, you come to me right away. Understood? 
Yeah, what's the big deal about them? Oh, there's no deal, Evan. It's just highly confidential, classified, and way above your pay grade. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, I understand. I'll talk to you later. He got really, he got really, uh... <laughs> no, that was probably difficult lying to your friend, but you did the right thing, Evan. As a reward, I'll tell you something about myself. Something that only the two other people know. The reason I have so much access to the FDI. I used to work there. Yeah, you're part of the FDI? I can't tell you more for the moment, but yes. I was as improbable as that seems. And yeah, what do I do now? For now? Nothing. I'll be in touch later, Evan. All right, it's the end of the day. 4.55 p.m. Oh, hi, Barry. So who the hell am I talking to this time? <laughs> it's still Operator Tanner. <laughs> the same Operator Tanner from before? <laughs> yes, Agent Walker. <laughs> Good. You haven't been fired. I was afraid I have I'd not. have to explain this goddamn case all over again. I went back to where Connie said she took the photo in the desert. You remember, right? Where she said yeah. this um, flying saucer supposedly landed. I didn't find a mm -hmm. flying saucer or any aliens breathing their last wheezy breaths or anything like that. But I did find something else. Something disturbing? You could say that. You could definitely say that. I found stones. A bunch of stones lying there on the surface of the sand. I'm no uh, geologist, but they look funny to me. Like they'd been moved, put there for oh, a reason, weird. you know? So, I call it in. Because I'm sure as hell not going to dig myself, Tanner. Not in this suit. A team arrives an hour later, and they start digging. Sure enough... Under one of the stones, they find a body. Advanced state oh. decomp. They dig under another stone. And lo and behold, this time they find an entire skeleton. Turns out, we're standing on some sort of desert graveyard. How many corpses? Hard to say, but I counted more than a hundred stones. If they're all grave markers, well, I'll let you do the math. So they found a body and a skeleton? Yeah. Messed up, right? And judging by the size of the skeleton, it belonged to someone young, Tanner. Real young. Look, I won't beat around the bush. The medical examiner has finished a preliminary report on the skeleton, and they found what they believe is a photo of the victim in the sand, buried there by the bones. Never seen that before. Any chance you can take a look at all this and get me an ID, Tanner? Uh, yeah, consider it done. Let me send you the files. Okay, so there was a photo? Well, it's taken a while. Hard to access the satellite out here in Roswell. I mean, <laughs> uh, dry field. <laughs> Roswell? <laughs> okay. Looks like it went through. About goddamn yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, I got it, dude. I'm going. Okay. The skeleton appears to be female, estimated at mm, nine years of age. Starting the examination now. Initial oh, observations show well-preserved and intact bones. No visible signs of trauma or damage. The subject is okay. missing her left incisor. The rest of the dentition looks good. No decay or disease is present. Moving on. Okay. Here's something interesting. One okay. of the metacarpal bones on her left hand, the metacarpal three, has a slight curvature. You don't see that a lot. So, to summarize, the subject okay. appears to have been a female. 
-huh. approximately nine years of age, with a missing left incisor tooth and a slight curvature in the metacarpal three in her left hand. Based on the level okay. of decomposition, the body appears to have been buried for approximately six to eight months. Further testing and analysis is needed to determine the cause of death. Okay, so not an old burial graveyard, because that was eight to nine months ago. Okay, who's he? Henry Jenkins. Why does that sound familiar? He's dead. Wait, isn't he the dead guy from the other thing? Welcome to the facility, Gabby. You are in good hands now. Hold up. He is! Gabby. Is there a Gabby on here? Can I search any of these Gabbies? Well, that is a that is a man. Definitely not you. Oh, nine. Female nine. Gabby Bruce. How did you find this, Tanner? Her name is on the list of another case, like Connie. Just when you think this case can't get any weirder, that's exactly what it does. But I need concrete proof it's her. Got anything else in your bag of tricks? Yes, the bone. The bone that was weird. Show evidence, the bone. I'll be damned. Nine years old, Tanner. Breaks yeah. your goddamn heart. What the hell is going on out here? And what's the connection to Connie? So she was doing something. I know the connection. Is okay, this the dude? The examiner has just finished processing the second body I was telling you about. The one in the advanced state of decay. Let's see here. Adult male, early 60s. Okay. Ah, they got an ID on him. Quentin Spence. Want to see if that name is on your magical list, too? I will look. If I can spell it. It is. Can I check? Hold on. Before we tell him anything. Hold up. Oh, I forgot the N. I was like, that doesn't look right. And I was like double checking it. He is missing. He is considered missing. All right. He's on the freaking list. Yep, he's right here. So there's definitely a link. I see he's also some missing. Of the names have been crossed out. Can you figure yeah. out what that business means? That they're missing. Yeah, it means the person is missing, because I assume all these other people... So if I put in, like, Bradley... Marshall... Yep, missing. Yep, it means they're missing. Looks to be about a hundred names like that. That number yep. matches the stones. God damn! And, if I was a gambling man... 
I'd say the circled persons are still alive, like our Connie. There's something else about Spence, Tanner. Okay, what else about it? They found him buried in a lab coat. With some, uh, you're never gonna guess. Floppy disk sewn into one of the pockets. Remember what I said about this case getting weirder and weirder? I'm sending everything your way. So, wait. Hold up. There you go. Now the second disk password protected. Open that second floppy disk and give me an address tied to Spence. Something I can look into. I'm getting a little restless with you doing all the work. The operator program. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't tell you where they worked. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Oh, jeez. Okay, I got sidetracked. Yeah, it has something to do with whatever... Can I see this? What's this? BM Technologies, huh? Something to do with BM Technologies. Alright, well, we saved the badge. That's something. It was like that was the only... No, I didn't want to look at its face again. Yep, I know it's him. All right, where is this? Oh boy, that's a lot of information. Oh, it's even more information. All right, so the floppy disk is holding some form of information. We get to read, I guess. <laughs> Upon my arrival at the facility, I was warmly welcomed by Dr. Jinxon himself. How fortunate I am to work with such a passionate and talented scientist, even if in a um, subserior sub role. During our meeting, Dr. Jenkins explained that I would be heading up a trial involving the FPM 1138, a key component of his research project. Fucking Jinxon, Jenkins again? It has something to do with this. Although he did not disclose much, I have the impression that the project is shrouded in secrecy. It appears to be of great importance. The trial, which are scheduled to commence in the few days, once I am well versed in the subjects and the procedures are in place, Dr. Ills, the facility director, informs me our work has the potential to significantly enhance the well-being of the patients who have been selected specifically for our research. The entire facility itself has been constructed for this purpose alone, although I'm unaware of the project's source of funding, where it appears to be no short shortage of resources. I'm pretty um, optimistic. So Dr. Ills, huh? Is Ills... Is Ills on this? I-L-E-S? I assume it might look for last names too, not just. I guess we could find out. If I put in West. Okay, yeah, no, it will look for last names too. So Ills is not on the list. Could I search for just probably not. It probably cuz yeah, it wants a full name. I don't have a full name. So we don't know who Dr. Ills is just yet. Close this. Um So this is the FMP 1138. So this is what they're working on, I guess. A an AMPA rep, uh, receptor is critical component to some sort of transmission and plasticity in the brain. As a glutamate guided ion channel, it uh, mediates fast septus transmission and contributes to the somatic plasticity by modulating the strength of synaptic connections between neurons difunctional of AMPA receptors has been implied implicated in various neurological and sociological psycho psych fucking psych disorders um including Alzheimer's disease depression and schizophrenia okay so something about the brain uh, represents promising class of components for the treatment of disorders as they enhance the AMPA receptor function and improve somatic plasticity. 
the FMP1138 is a novel selective receptor uh, but, uh, potentator that has been showing promising results in preclinical studies and have demonstrated to enhance. Okay. All right. So it can do in vitro and VO. Okay. Study so sought to explore the potential of the effects of on it, the neuro neurological conductivity. Okay. Cool. This is a lot of words that mean absolutely nothing to me. Uh, <laughs> So they use extraphysiological imaging and behavioral assessments to see the effects on the neuronal function and connectivity. Okay. Oh. To unlock the full potential, 66.72 kilohertz minimum, 105 kilohertz maximum. Okay, we found improved cognitive function in a mouse model of Alzheimer's. Specifically, we observed that it treated the mice performing better with spatial memory tasks compared to the control mice. Additionally, we found that it treated mice had increased spine density in the hippocampus, a brain region critical for learning and memory. Taken together, our findings suggest that is a promising therapeutic agent for the treatment of neurological and psychological disorders characterized by the impaired narco okay so something to make brains better make brains work better what does any of this have to mean with anything i do not know um a ellis okay q spence a Jenkins. This was 500 hertz, 89 kilohertz. Subject number is 98. The result demonstration of the FMP 1138 simply increased the sequence and amplitude of EPSC, indicating an enhancement of cerebral transmission. Finding the the findings suggest that it has a potential to improve neural activity and plasticity. Okay, yeah, so they're still learning that it seems to be working, whatever it is that they got going on here. This is the reality study investigating the stuff, okay. Note, unlike Dr. Ills, this is the result paper I will use the little Indian stamp. Indian, Indian stand? Okay. Oh, is that is that how you get into the lock? I wonder if that's how you get into the lock, because it's got like a lock feature right there. No. I'm scared that if I do too many, it's going to lock and I'm not going to be able to open it. Huh. No. <laughs> like, what if I spell it backwards? Um... It's like, what? Yeah, maybe we'll listen to his autopsy report. Maybe there's something there.
Okay, R and D one, Flavid is two. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what is it just DD? No. Right. Guess we'll listen to the autopsy, autopsy report. report. Of a male. Approximately late fifties. Looks like it's 60s. too sidetracked to trying to figure it out. Initial observations show no sign of trauma or blunt force injury. Similar okay. to the first remains found. The decedent appears to be wearing some kind of lab coat. Starting the external dead. examination now. Excellent dentition. The decedent is wearing some kind of badge. Let me put this to the side. Abdomen seems healthy, with no signs of trauma or injuries. The lab coat seems to contain a hidden pocket. There's something inside. It's sewn shut. I'll open this with my scalpel. There. There appear to be two floppy disks inside the pocket. Strange. In my estimate, the body has been buried for approximately two to three months, based on the level of decomposition. At this point, yeah, that was the like the newer body. Uncertain. Further testing and analysis is needed, including toxicology reports, before I can provide a conclusive determination. Okay. So again, no signs of like any form of struggle or anything. Okay. Um. Uses again. Res two, it says. So yeah, it says it's from this one. One, two, three, so S. It's like S I. No. One, two, three, space. One, two, three, one, two, three, space. So maybe S D. No? See, I figured it would had something to do with this because they were like line, line, line. Weird. I'm stumped. Uh, let's see. He was a director. He was head of operations. Jeez, he made it all the way to head of operations. No. Because it looked like he was saying it's in this file. Unless they really mean, unless they literally mean IE? No.
have to use this just fine, it's okay. To unlock the full potential. All right, so one is this, one is this. India? I feel like I'm missing something important. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to ask for help, though. <laughs> to unlock the full potential. Uses India. India. I don't know, like, the pH and stuff, though. Does that do anything? No. Because you need to know more information. Okay, hold on. Um, isn't there... a manual? Use... India, India. Yeah, I'm not finding any information. To unlock the full potential the minimum, the mini maximum. Oh, part of me is like, do I just hit the question mark? I don't, I don't know. Can I Google? <laughs> Where's a Google in the, in this? <laughs> So I'm trying to see if I find any information that talks about Indian. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, we give up. We'll ask. Give up? I'm gonna ask one question. The symbols and file names written on the second floppy disk look to be there for a reason, Tanner. Yes. I suggest checking those two files for clues about the password. Focusing on the symbols. Maybe keep those two files open and see if you can do something with them. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
All right, thank you. That was very nice of you. Um, that that clue that that clue definitely unlocked a, a brain thought process that I did not have before that moment. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, let me um, refine that floppy disk, please. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So what is it? Just oh five. Indian. Hey. Confession. Oh, why is there scary music? Okay. If you're reading this, it means I am no longer living and that I have been buried in the dry field desert like all the other subjects. I implore you, whoever you are, to share my story with anyone who can make things right. My name is Quinson Spence. I was the head of operations at the BioM facility. I'm writing this letter because I'm about to be I'm about to resign from a job that one cannot simply resign from. As per protocol, I will be likely be sent to the desert burial site with all my belongings. I deserve this punishment. I am sick. So sick of everything that we have done supposedly in the name of science. If you have found me, I am assuming you have found the others too. Every person buried here in the sand is a Project EVE test subject. EVE was led by Dr. Henry Jenkins. I am not trying to shift blame the blame onto him. I bear my share of responsibilities in this matter. While intentions were noble, at least from the, in the beginning, I am now seeing that we went too far, and I am ready and willing to face whatever punishment awaits me in the next world. If you have found this document, but perhaps the contents of my lab coat pocket remains undiscovered, perhaps they could not crack the password necessary to open up the floppy disks. Maybe they assume the floppy disk contained only my research papers. Regardless, what truly matters now is you. You have the power to stop this. Please do not be as much of a coward as I was, Quinston. Okay. Do I send that information? Yeah. He well, worked for this biosub facility. That was actually somewhat impressive, Tanner. Only had to slightly said, ask for help. It's not far from here. I'll check it out first thing in the morning. Tonight, I think I'll help the team exhume the rest of these bodies. Screw the suit. God help us, Tanner. God help every single one of us. Yeah, why did my brain not think to combine those together like that? Oh, it's fine. The moment he said have them up at the same time, I went, wait a second. <laughs> All right. Take care of yourself, please. I do not want you to end up dead tomorrow. Okay. He's gonna end up dead tomorrow, isn't he? He's gonna be dead. That's what I'm waiting for. Alright, we're going home again. Okay, we're going into the elevator. Leaving the elevator. Oh, well, we got in the elevator. Yeah, we're going up. Yeah, okay. Elevator's opened. You need to do something about it. He's poking what? around, asking too many questions. Uh-oh. He's going to expose us all if you don't rein him in. Yes, his shift Skinner? is over. Yes. Uh-oh. All right. Yeah, fine. We'll talk later. Bye. Skinner. Oh, that can't be good. Well, I'm now worried. Whatever that fucking noise is every time he they come into the apartment. I assume we're eating. It sounds terrifying. I hope he sat down on the bed or the couch or something.
Did we go to sleep? Okay, I guess we went to sleep. 6 a.m., taking our shower. We, like, brush our teeth and stuff. Take our medicine. Don't know what the medicine is, but we're taking it. All right. It's been 25 a.m. We're here. So we are coming in around the right time every single day. All right, I guess time to log in. Oh, I forgot to put my password in, my bad. Gonna put my password in too? Hi, buddy. Good morning, Evan. Director Trench, good morning. Look, about yesterday, this, uh, this business with the coal files. Sorry if I came down on you a little hard, buddy. It's just that I know you have what it takes to rise in this place, Evan. Become a supervisor. Hell, maybe even replace me one day. But I can't protect you if you start poking around in the wrong places. Okay? I absolutely understand, Mike. Thanks. Guess the FDI has got me wound a little tight these days. Well, I... I better get back to it. You have a good one. Alright? Again, I, I can't tell you how happy I am to have you here at the Operator Program, Evan. That way, I can keep a close eye on you, can I? <laughs> Let's grab a beer later this week, alright? Once everything calms down in the madhouse. Yeah, beer sounds really good, Mike. Oh, okay. Barry Walker still alive. Good, Operator good news. Tanner, that you? <laughs> it is still me. <laughs> Tanner, did you give that address out to anybody? What? No. Well, somebody beat me to the facility, Tanner. Yeah. Wait. What happened? The BioM facility burned down last night, Tanner. Up in flames. And if you didn't give the address out, someone else did. Looks like we got ourselves a... A mole. Goddamn <laughs> operator program. Yeah, what do we need to do now? Well, an investigative team came before me and logged the remaining evidence back at the department. But I can't access it directly. Oh, uh, have to go through the operator program. Heaven on earth, Tanner. Heaven on earth. From what I can tell, there should be some security footage there that should shed some light on what happened here. Hopefully, it won't be okay. too hard to prove this was arson. Okay, we got some stuff to look through. Alright. Alright, we're gonna let the ads start to run. It's been another hour, it's ad time! Ugh, this game's been fun so far, though. It took me nearly two hours, but I finished one arm. Yay! Well, at least once you have an understanding on one of the arms, you could hopefully replicate it to the other ones. I, I assume doing the first one is always going to be the hardest, because you're still, like, you're trying to figure out how to make it work. Whereas you can then replicate that idea, hopefully to a second, to a third, to a fourth, if you have four arms, depending, you know. No, each of them are in different directions. Damn. I have to work with the muscle directions. Ah! Well, at least the toesies and stuff. Each toesy should be, you know, a, a repeat for the most part. <laughs> 
This is this is the hellhole you put yourself in, Nerf. Um, but I bet it looks really cool. <laughs> kinda. <laughs> the toesies are kind of the same. <laughs> If they grab something each of uh if they wouldn't grab something each of them. <laughs> uh Nerf is working on a dragon sculpture in Warframe where he's making he's taking pieces of like gold metal s things and piecing them together to make a dragon. Um did you post any pictures in th the Steam Discord? He was showing us last night. He was, like, showing off pictures last night. But that was in, like, our personal conversation area. Um, I don't know if he has any in the screenshots for Warframe. He could put some in, though. We could see some updates. Nah, not yet. <laughs> oh, he's making us wait. He's making us wait. I want to finish more first. Yeah. Yeah, it's look it's it's really cool from what I've seen so far. What I saw last night. Obviously, I've not seen any form of like the feet or anything cuz he's obviously he's just work. He just finished that off. But it's looking cool. So now that I know where it is. Okay, no. This picture was before the picture that you post saying that you were working on the Daviri Dojo room is before you started the sculpture, because I don't see any bit of the sculpture since I know where to look now. <laughs> I know where it exists to know where to look. <laughs> oh, look at that paw! Oh my god, that is so cool looking, though! Oh, that's so cool! This is a great way to to waste time. For all those watching in, 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 in future days of being like, what the heck are they talking about? He's building a dragon in Warframe and he's showing pictures of it on the Discord. It's very cool looking. Y'all just don't get to see it. Enjoy. <laughs> you have to go to our Discord and look if you wanted to see it in the future if you're watching this. It's a cool looking dragon. It's looking very cool, Nerf. 10 out of 10. Awesome dragon. <laughs> Alright, the ads are done. We are allowed to get back into this. Nothing has been lost. <laughs> I don't have Discord. Oh. No, sadly, it's in the Discord. I'm sure if you're around for one of the uh, Warframe streams, we'll probably end up going in there at some point and looking. So if anything, you can do that. Can you see links? I guess that's also true. Nerf can link things in... Um, in He is able. He is able to link things. So he might be. You might be able to see that. I'm not sure. Yeah, there you go. You can see. If it actually lets you see that. <laughs> All right. So this is the facility. This is the camera from the facility. Literally, dude, just walking on in with a fucking fire- uh, a gas canister? A lot of time goes by. anything gonna happen are we just staring at a yeah can we make it go by faster we can Oh, 
Okay. Lights start going crazy. Oh, we can see the dude's face. It's the same no match guy. No, not that. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. Okay, I have to scan the fact that there was a gasoline can. Yep, man entered with gasoline. Yeah, that's not a box of wine, is it? Can you get an ID on this guy? Nope. That uh, would have been too easy, huh? I'd like to get in the facility. Yeah, take a look around. Good Lord willing, the roof won't collapse on me. But I need a code for the door. You see where I'm going with this, Tanner? Yeah, how did the first responders get in? Yeah, that's fishy, isn't it? So fishy, it goddamn stinks. Unfortunately, I don't have access to the team members. But from what I can tell, the order came from higher up. Yeah, I'll find the code for you. Scan it. Scan it while he's doing it. All right, zero, one, four, four, eight, five. Let me see if this works. All right, I'm in. <coughs> Damn it! A smoke in here will ruin this suit too. That's two suits in two days, Tanner. Tanner. Fucking Walker. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Why do you say that? Because this place is just about burnt to a crisp. I don't know what went on here, but if you ask me, it's a pretty elaborate security system for a medical facility. Yeah. Something else I can do. While I look around, maybe you could dig more into our little arsonist friend. Yeah, what exactly am I looking for? Anything that you can find, Tanner. I look picky to you. An ID. A link to another case. His favorite flavor of ice cream. Just give me something, alright? Well, he's the same... He's the same guy from the other one. How do I... He's the same... Yeah, he's, he's a suspect in a shooting. Charming fellow. Who's the lead on the other investigation? Agent Alexandra Pendle. Ouch. Tough draw for the rook. Hold on. Looks like I found something. What the... What is it? Oh god, what are you sending me a picture of? Connie? You see what I'm seeing, Tanner? Looks like our <gasps> gal, Connie Moore, was a bio-impatient. Yeah, was she hiding this from us? I don't know. I mean, I don't think so. Past her polygraph with flying colors. She told us the truth. Her truth, anyway. Any records? Nope. Looks like either the first responders took that info with them, or it burned in the fire. So what else do we- yeah, what do we need to do now? Contact Skinner to update Pendle on her parking garage killer. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. I'll keep looking around here. <coughs> the world's biggest ashtray. Tell me if you find out anything new about our pyro head, Tanner. 
and I'll contact you if I come across something on my charred end over here. Be careful. All right, Skinner. Oh, wait. Just when I was starting to miss you. Oh, what do you want now, Hal? Whoa, take it easy. Yeah, what do you want now? Don't contact Pendle. Right, what? Why not? Agent Walker, though really gummy, is right. There's a mole in the operation program. A hairy, stinky little mole, Evan. Oh, and it could be Skinner. Why do you say that? I overheard him talking about me. You did? I'll keep that in mind. Look, I have a plan, Evan. A plan that will expose our mole and bring out the ghost. A two-in-one... Okay. How special. Alright, ghost. Who's that? That's why I'm calling the guy who doesn't appear in your database. Okay. Good name, don't you th don't you think? He murdered Wells and set fire to the bio and facility. I'm pretty sure he killed Mia Cole too. Alright, go on, tell me the plan. So Walker told you that a team came and logged evidence from the facility. It's now at the FDI, but for some reason it's been concealed. I can see that from here. Just like the name on Drickens list. Okay. The evidence room is behind a closed network that unfortunately I cannot hack into. So what's the solution? If we can sneak into the evidence room and access the computer, we can make the hidden evidence visible again. Oh no. And if we share that information, it will catch the attention of our mole and trigger him. Oh boy. To contact the ghost. Okay, him or her to contact the ghost. That's phase one. What's phase two? Oh boy. Phase two is setting the trap for the ghost with the agent, Pendle, and Walker. But I'll talk more about that later. But we, you actually mean, yeah. But by we, you mean me. <laughs> I can't get into the evidence room. Are you confident this will work? Yep, and by me, by we, you mean me. <laughs> yep, Evan. I mean you, sad face. Yeah, are you confident this will work? <laughs> it's my plan, isn't it? <laughs> that does not answer the question, sir. Okay, I've hacked the um, accreditation server, giving you access permission. It's go time. So I just use my badge? You just use your badge. Now, chop chop, Evan. The things I do for you. <laughs> he can like see me logging out though, couldn't he? Like he knows I'm I'm on the move though. You can do this. You just gotta walk over to that room. Get in the elevator, okay. Okay, elevator's closing. We're riding the elevator to whatever room we need to go. I'm having a little panic attack. Um, it's fine. It's fine, I'm just having a panic attack. Oh boy. Yep, just walk up to that fence. Yep, put your gate in, okay. Just walk up to that computer. Yep, mm-hmm, just right- yep, that thing right there. It's very interesting that, like, all the outdoor things 
you can't really see. You can only see they're, they're all faded. Okay. Authorize. All right, type my name in. And my password. Okay. Um. Help. Uh, yes, it's me, Hal. Yeah. Your badge worked. Wait, you weren't sure it would? <laughs> if you can access this computer, can't you just make the... Yeah. You didn't think it was gonna work, dude. 50% sure. Don't hate me, Evan. <laughs> Alright, can, can you find out if this shit's gonna work? I can't access everything. The help menu, as boring as it is, was the only thing that loaded from the global FDI network. You'll have to access the files and look for the hidden evidence on your end. You'll have to work a little, Evan. Sorry. Yeah, I'm getting an error message. Oh, whoops. Forgot to do something on my end, actually. Just a sec. Alright, thank you. Okay. Just updated your credentials. You should be able to see the files now. Look for the hidden column and see if you can find anything in the evidence from the facility case that you can make visible again. And then come back here once you're done, okay? All right. Um, okay, S tab. This is hidden. Are you sure you want this to be false? Yes. Is there anything else? I think that was it. Okay, go back to the help then. The evidence is visible again. Every time I look away and do some work for a bit, I'm even more lost when I come back. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I just had an idea. The list on Henry Jenkins, don't you think that it's time we finally discover the name that's been redacted? I mean, it's kind of driving me crazy. Find the appropriate case file and see if you can revert it to the uncensored version. Okay. Um. That was... No, not that one. Um, not that one. Where the hell is that one? Oh wait. Oh, it's this one. Tab. Uh, history. Switch fields. Are you sure you want a previous version? Yes, I would like a previous version. All right, I did it. I love that sounds. It's like you've won the evidence room or something. All right, log out and head back to your desk, but act natural. Oh, boy. All right, we're logging out. Oh, <sighs> 
Question if you want weird conversation after and after talks, after stream, join the Discord, share food, conversations, and topics. Well, of course, this is Warframe and other games, yep. All right, remain calm. Tanner, Tanner, remain calm. I believe in you, Tanner. You can do this. Just walk back to your desk like you've done nothing weird. You went to use the restroom. No one can get mad at you for going and using the restroom. You're fine. You had to go potty. It's fine. All right. Everyone has to use the restroom every once in a while. You're good. You got this, Evan. You're fine. What took you so long? <laughs> you said to act natural. <laughs> Not that natural, Evan. So, the evidence from the facility case that you just made visible. Let's see what is what we have there, shall we? Okay. Well, well, that's the name was Sasha. Sasha Cole was removed from that list. All right, and then facility. The drive looks a little damaged, probably from the fire. But I wouldn't be surprised if they tampered with the with it too. Looks like it's going to take some time to recover the files. Okay. In the meantime, check out the Jenkins list and see what the name they reacted. Okay. Well, now we were supposed to. I know that now. It's Sasha. Sasha Cole. He has husband? His name is Circle. That means... What does that mean? What if Agent Walker said about the Circle names is true? Then Sasha Cole is still alive. Does he know about Mia and the baby? I hope not. Anyway, the hard drive has recovered some of its files. That's fortunate. Look. There is a file for Sasha Cole and Connie Moore. Both are password protected. Let's focus on Connie's folder first. See if you can find a way in. Sorry, Evan. You're gonna have to work a little more. Sad face. What if this is just Hal? No. What if I put in Sasha? No. Mia? No. <gasps> what if it's Evan? No. Please stop. Um, uh, security risk, sir. We have noticed you and your badge as, um, you used your badge ID as your password. We recognize the convenience of this but in the interest of preserving preventing security breach we strongly encourage you to adopt another even though your password has more than four characters it is still not secure enough at your earliest convenience please choose a new password thank you again for your attention on this matter <laughs> uh, to jenkins so jenkins password was literally his ID. His badge ID was his password. That is really funny. Um, so does that literally mean that um, his password is... is? No, not that. Um, mm, no, that's... A, yeah, it's Connie Moore. Okay. Um, graveyard? No, not you. Badge. What 
what so is it like what zero three six six three six with the two zero zero five zero no um So the question is, what is his ID number, though? That was his badge. <laughs> Look on his face in that image, though. Um. Yeah, because none of these can be opened. Oh, maybe because I didn't add the four? Okay, so it's not just considered- okay. Maybe it's the four. Four, zero... Three six six three six. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I needed the four. I needed to add the four in. That was the problem. Uh, what? It's, like it's badge number. Older people and their passwords. Anyways, nice work. So let's see what's in. Uh, let's finish setting the trap. I'm guessing that there's something in Connie's file we could use to trigger the mole and lure the ghost out from wh wherever hole he's hiding in. A piece of information. An address, maybe. Something. Okay. Uh, we're playing the operator. So we are trying to solve murders right now. But we're currently going against our own company trying to solve this murder. Mass murder, actually. Okay. Uh, Connie was spotted at the disposal team near the DFBD site around 11.35 a.m. Apprehended around 11.50 a.m. She was used as a subject of the MK, MK6 prototype, which should be arrived in the lab tomorrow. Objective, seed abduction and integration of the essential remove memory that countered the burial sites on her hike. Her memory of the evidence leading up to this moment, other claims... Other recent claims of alien adoption subject in your belief. Okay. Okay, and notes. Okay, arrived. Well, the same dosage. After first session, notice the same side effects as usual. Fever is a little higher. And that the as expected subject seems receptive, but given higher fever, only one session was undertaken. Fever increased by yet another 10%, only one session. Fever is starting to decrease. ATH after 48 hours after first injection pat matches previous observations of MK5. We'll aim for two sessions tomorrow. Two sessions. Fever is stable, although still a bit too high compared to the MK5. Fever decreased a bit. The next day, the fever decreased a bit and will probably remain the same level until the end. Subject is confused. Two days ahead of schedule compared to MK5. Okay, start phase two. And then four days later. Okay. Um, subject seems very reactive. Phase two is over. Phase three is ready to begin and probably tomorrow. We'll need photographic fakes ASAP. Waiting for identical weather conditions. Okay. So another day. Phase 3 begins. We'll focus on the PFBD object, um, objective until we have photograph. Subject perceives of the PDF site is already modified. Raid and finally stopped. Most likely will produce photographic fake tomorrow. Finally replace, uh, finally have the Photographic defects original photo has been replaced by Urzitz. Okay, so she took a picture of the graveyard, is what she took a picture of. And then they then came back 
and re-raised that picture and took a picture of the fake UFO. Subject's memory has been altered. MK6 shows to be 25 more perf uh, effective than MK5. Okay, so M MK6 is better. Judges are attached to anchors, are ready for phase four. Confusion stopped, phase four begins. Control sessions are fine, some hesitation, but since anchors are still strongly aligned with objectives, appears to be working. Four phase is phase four is over. Objective is now deeply rooted. Final injection this morning. Subject is sed sedated and will remain so until fever stops. All right, and so two days, the fever stopped. Sedation stopped. Subject will be released into the desert this afternoon. All right, conclusions. MK6 is promising. 30% more effective overall, but 40% more fever, which is going to be a problem for most fragile subjects. We will keep MK5 as a standard for now, aiming to have MK7 to address issues with fever. Note the report this to this lab. Ooh. I do want to know what's in the rest of these, though. Can I, can I, can I look into the rest of these? Or am I going to get like an achievement for being nosy? Oh, I can't. His password doesn't work for those. Yeah, so his password doesn't work for those. Yeah, it doesn't work for any of those. Only for Connie. All right, all right, all right. Well, we got an address. What in the world were they doing to Connie? But this address is, is perfect, Evan. Uh, given the messed up things Jenkins was doing, I'm sure that they'll want to keep this lab a, sec a secret. Now what, Hale? What are we doing now? Now it is time for phase two. We have two agents looking for the ghost. Walker and Pendle. Time we put, uh, put them to use. Uh, let me check something. Okay. I'm waiting. Okay. Agent Pendle is closer to the lab. Contact her and send the address. Whoever is monitoring communications between the agents and the operatives will see it. Um. Yeah, am I putting Pendle in harm's way if I do this, though? She's a big girl, Evan. And she won't be alone. Go ahead and contact Skinner so you can contact Pendle. I'll get back to you later. Okay. Yes, Operator Tanner. Uh, I have information for Agent Pendle. What kind of information? An address links to the murder of Wells information that Agent Walker found. Yeah, Agent Walker has an update for Pendle's case. All right. I'm forwarding the call, Tanner. But I hope you're not just sending Pendle on some wild goose chase. Why do you think that, sir? Sir, why do you think that? Operator Tanner, what can I do for you? Yeah, footage of Wells killers committing arson via the case of Walker is, is working on. What? You're kidding. Okay, so our murderer likes to play with fire too, huh? This guy just gets better and better. By any chance, did any clues pop up where we might locate him? Yes, actually. To Jenkins? So, it comes full circle, does it? Well, whatever that address is, I'll take it. Alright, here you go. Hi, so what? exactly is this place if wells killer is there i assume it's not a petting zoo um i think it might have been jenkins laboratory i see well 
I'm on my way. I'll contact you when I get there. Thanks, Tanner. Maybe now we can finally book this guy. Be careful. Oh. All right, it's 2.55 p.m. <gasps> Pendle? Tanner, I'm at the lab. Okay. Hey, talk to me. The door was unlocked, actually. It's real weird in here, Tanner. Like everybody suddenly took off. They left all their beeping lab equipment behind. But I don't see any sign of Wells' killer. Looks like a dead... <gasps> Shit! Drop the phone. <gasps> Slide your gun over to me. Slowly. On your knees, Agent Pendle. You? How do you know my name? You might want to close your eyes. You don't want to do this. I'm a federal agent. Agent Walker, FBI! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Move away from her! What's happening? Open the door now. It's not opening, Walker. Open the door now. Operator, you there? Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me. There's a bomb. This ball-headed oh, psycho has trapped me in a fuck. room with a bomb. It's my uh -oh. third day. The display says 20 <laughs> minutes and 21 seconds, and it's ticking down. You okay. Gotta help me here. I don't know. Um, all right, hold on. Come right back. Understand me, Tanner? You come right back. Uh, Skinner? Skinner? Skinner, we have a bob bomb situation? You better answer your fucking phone. Yes, Operator Tanner. <laughs> um, yeah, we need to defuse a bomb. Stay calm, Tanner. <laughs> Pendle's locked in the room with a bomb. Okay. Let me think. Unfortunately, our more seasoned operators are presently occupied. I'd send a team, but they'd arrive much too late. Oh that my god, shut up and help me. <laughs> you'll have to defuse the bomb, operator. I figured that one out already. Okay, what do I do? <laughs> I'm sharing the FDI's bomb defusal manual. You haven't gone through bomb training yet, but we have- Oh no my choice. god, shut bomb up and help me! <laughs> do not read the entire manual. You don't okay. have time. Stay okay. Stay calm and follow the instructions from the beginning. Do you what if understand? I just read the entire manual instead? All right, understood. I forgot the notepad. Um, yeah, what does it look like? There are wires, a controller, a battery, a keypad, and uh, a display, I guess. And operator, a controller, a battery, sure keypad, and display. At the beginning. I really don't want to go out like this. Okay, identify the bomb. In order to identify the prototype, please refer to. ABL2? Oh my god, there's a lot. Okay. Uh, multiple devices, security, unlike single mass devices, removing. Okay. There's wires, controllers, a battery, a keypad, a display, I guess. What requires ticking. Okay. That's ticking bomb. I guess it's show me this? If the device has a power module. A controller display. It does have a power module. It has green wires mass. Controller battery, keypad, and display. Um... Uh, tell me about the power. Multiple dice and massive. Okay, the device will be diffused the following ways. How many? Wait, if it has 
a green wire. The voltage is lower than... The battery about the wires? Wire, a red and black. Okay. Red and black. Um... If the device power module is okay. Device power module. Okay, so about the bomb. Tell me about the power. I guess about the battery? I don't really know. A single battery pack? I, I think. Wait, it says 9 volts, 0 0.3 amps, 2,000 milliamps hour. Okay. So it is not lower than a 5 volt. It's a 9 volt. This is okay. The device exclusive model. Oh god, this is confusing. <laughs> okay. Um, if the device explosive module uses liquid, all right, about the bomb, can we know about the explosives? What type of it? What is it? Gasoline. Tanner, Gasoline. This isn't how I imagined I'd go out. Okay. Okay. Uh, it requires a very precise ticking and not to be sustained without, okay. Um, such a device shall be diffused using the following. Okay, so it's probably here? Like, taking device. Okay. So first step is to get the bomb serial number. Okay, about the bomb. It has a keyboard and display modules. Um, tell me about the display. Type zero 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 and note the serial numbers displayed. What kind of display is it? I don't know what type it is. The numbers are made of little bars. There's uh, seven of them. Is that important? We don't have all day, operator. I want to enter a code into the numpad, I guess. One, two, three, four. It says ABM one eight six five eleven. ABM okay one six five eleven. Okay. Can we go back to this then? Okay. If the serial number... Okay, no. If the serial number looks like that... Aha! Okay. If the serial number looks like this. A, B, M. Yes, that's what we got. That's what we got. Alright, the device control module is functioned by the ABM industries. The first step is to disconnect every module that requires ticking. For that, follow the procedures listed in the column of disable procedure for the mod for the modules and and only and those modules only. Once every module is is that requires ticking has been disconnected, follow the next one. Okay. Uh, modules are key components of the bomb. The following tab summarizes all the modules and their characteristics. It was the ones that required... I wish I could have this... Can I have multiple of these open at a time? That'd be nice, because my brain only works so well. Um, for that, follow the procedures listed under the column Disable Procedures. Only require ticking. Requires ticking. Only the ones that require ticking. Okay. So we need to... Disable the keypad and the display and the receptor? Yeah, disconnect. Okay, we want her to disconnect. Wait. 
would that just be turning off the screen? How does that work? Okay. Keypad. Okay, cut the black wire. Okay. Uh, first the oh, oh okay um there should be a power okay so wait what oh god this is causing me issues Used to receive remotes, usually a triggered, it's optional. Okay, so power off the screen. How do I do that? Wait. I see it. A uh, little switch next to the screen. Okay, it switched off. All right. Oh god, this just sends you- I feel like I'm walking in circles right now. We think every module that requires ticking- we're gonna fucking- I'm gonna fail this because I'm so confused. Yeah, cut the- cut- the, okay. I want you to cut a wire. Um, cut the yellow data wire. From the display, I guess? The yellow. I hope you're right. Alright, it's cut. Okay, and I want you to then cut a wire from the display the red one here goes operator <sighs> all right it's done all right then i want you to turn the screen back on I'm pressing the switch the screen is still off but i guess that's normal turn it back hit it okay, again just it in case off. okay and then we need to do the keypad. Simply cut the yellow wire. Okay. Cut a wire on the keypad, the yellow one. Are you sure, operator? Yes. This is cut the yellow data wire for the keypad. I hope you're right. Okay. It's fine. I'm I got this. The wire. Stop doing that. You're scaring me. Oh, it's done. But Don't do that. It's fine. I, I'm on to the next step. Um, It was not a multi-mass device. It is else. Um, Active and reactive. Active receptors constantly hold a voltage. Passive receptors hold a voltage only when signal is received. For automatic tracking devices, receptors are passive. Okay. Oh, make rid of it. Okay. Automatic tracking devices. Okay. Automatic. Okay. Receptors are passive. Cut the yellow wire. Okay. I want you to cut another wire. This time on the receptor. What the fuck is the receptor? I don't know what the receptor is, though. It said it was optional. Maybe it's fine. Maybe I don't need to do that. It's 
says this is optional. Maybe we don't need to do that. Because I don't know what the receptor is, and I don't see an information for the receptor. God, maybe we're okay? What? Um, three, one... Okay. Uh, to do this man okay. The goal of procedure is to disconnect the masses of every module, isolating them to the rest of the device. Isolating modules is a capital to avoid accidental discharges when disconnecting the power or the explosive module. To disconnect the masses, you need to cut all the green wires of each module when the wire is presented. What? Okay. I don't exactly know what that means. Nope, from not from the power or from the explosive. So the green wire from the keypad and the display then? Please, please, please. <sighs> I'm still alive for now anyway. All right, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm hoping I'm doing okay. Not the power of the explosive. So the keypad, green wire as well, please. All right, I'm cutting it. Done. <laughs> All right. Um, and then with that, that was it. Yeah, that was it. So then it wants... To follow... Oh, just two. Okay. Uh, only follow this procedure if the fusal prompts you to do so. Any attempt to disconnect the power module will otherwise probably trigger a failsafe mechanism and donate the device. Disconnect the power module safely by cutting the black wire. Oh boy, here we go. Um, from the... So, the battery... Oh, we might kill her. Let's find out. Here we go. Here we go. I'm alive. Oh, thank God. Does that mean it worked? <laughs> yes, it worked. Oh. Oh, keep it calm. Keep it calm. God, thank you. I, I, I just I need a few minutes. Keep it calm. Too. Keep it calm. Yeah, I'm here when you're ready. I have to say. I'm impressed, Operator Tanner. Not many would have managed their way through a situation like that without the proper training. You saved the life of an FDI agent today. And preserved <laughs> valuable evidence as well. Well done, okay. Operator. I think I was wrong about you. Once you're done conversing with Agent Pendle, go home and get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, sir. Interesting. Operator, are you there? Yeah. I'm here. Thank you. You saved my life today. I was a smooth operator. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. You could say I was a smooth operator. You would have done the same for Look, me. Walker's apprehended Wells Killer. He's taken him back to the department where he'll interrogate him tomorrow. I don't know what we'll find here at the lab if we find anything at all, but I'll keep you in touch. Now I just need somebody to open this goddamn door. Thanks again, Operator. No problem. <sighs> Bye, Operator. Alright. That it? We're just leaving? Okay. We completed our third day! Thank you for the love! We did it! We defused a bomb! We've had a very long day today. <laughs> Definitely haven't been waiting all this time to make that joke. <laughs> oh, a stretch break. All right. They should be on. Is it not working?
No, oh, it disconnected. All right, it's fixed now. <sighs> okay. We're back in the house. Immediately, I think, I guess, took a shower or something. He's washed her face, I guess. Oh, went into the fridge. And have collapsed. I assume collapsed with a beer. Oh, I'm gonna watch some TV! Gonna watch some TV and drink some beer? And collapsing. Oh, I'm assuming that's what's happening. Can't really tell. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making educated guesses of what's happening every time we leave the computer. Oh. Sir, are you okay? Evan's not sounding so good. Evan, are you okay? Okay. Are you okay, dude? He's not sounding okay. Sir, are you okay? Shut up, phone! I'm not asking you questions! <laughs> the can yeah, the cancer sticks are catching up to him. This is why you don't smoke, guys. Hope the ads are gonna play. Alright. All right, while we're loading in, we'll let the we'll we'll get the ads playing. Well, it's doing the load in and all that, you know. Uh, we'll get the ads going now. We started a little late, so the ads are a little off. So instead of it being on the hour, it's on the hour. <laughs> it's on the half hour. All right, some more stretching. Whew, after that last little fucking thing, yeah, more stretching. I need to breathe for a second. <laughs> oh, I feel like we. I feel like we must be getting close to being done with this, though. I am scared to like actually log in though, because I feel like the moment I log in, something's gonna happen, you know? So we'll just sit here waiting on our, you know, taking our moment. This is our moment. We're allowed to take a moment to have like a breather before we log in. You know, when we get to work and we sit down and we're like, oh man, I need a second before I fully log in. And get my barons, get my barons down. The boss is gonna chew us out for being late. He can wait. He can wait that minute and a half, you know? You know he can wait for that minute and a half. <laughs> <sighs> the camera's kinda trying to be side shift sideways for some reason yeah yeah i saved someone li someone's life yesterday i feel like i'm allowed to have my two minute break before i lock in <laughs> can he really get mad at me for having my two minute break before we log in like i feel like that's not fair like let me have my second i just got i just got here let me drink my coffee a little you know and then you know Get ready for whatever hellhole is going to go on. I guess the question is, how many chapters are in this? I don't think we have that many. I don't think we have much left, guys. Um. <laughs> Alright, so we probably will go until we finish the game today. 
So it's kind of seeming like we're, we're, we're pretty deep into the game at this point. Like, past halfway point, from what I'm looking at. Alright, the ads are done. Let's log in. Let's log in. Now the ads are done. We got to have our little break, our little stretch. Alright, Pendle, what's up? Hey, Tanner. Man, I didn't sleep a wink last night. Just kept going over and over everything that happened at the lab. You know, you and Agent Walker saved my life. I don't think I'll ever be able to pay you back for that. But I haven't reached out just to get all cheesy on you. I got an update on the case. Oh, you found something? Oh, yeah. You could say that. Much of it is still classified, given its ongoing status. But there are some things I can share since they're related to your caseload. Not sure I understand everything, but it looks like Jenkins was into some super shady memory research. I mean, it definitely wasn't FDA approved. I'm sending you the file. We definitely kind of learned that already. For you. That we've kind of already figured out. I'll talk to you later, Tanner. Right. Thank you. All right, is anyone else gonna? Okay, a picture of some vials. We need Connor Moore. Project EVE, Connor Moore, Project Samples, okay. My dearest Eve, it's been eight long years. Oh. Oh, hi, Hal. That's not exactly how I pictured the trap working. But we got the ghost, and maybe Walker can find out who he's working for when he questions him later. But more importantly, you saved Agent Pendle's life. I guess you're kind of a hero now, smiley face. Yeah, I'm so happy she didn't blow up. <laughs> well, I have another opportunity for you uh, to be a healer, he hero, Evan. It's urgent, in fact. Are you ready? Seriously, right now? I know you've been through a lot lately, but we're so close to finally getting some answers. So, after you've proved, uh, proved the fire at Mia's wasn't an accident, Andrews jumped back into the case. And after certain evidence finally finished being processed, she spotted something. Something she missed before. There was a bug in Mia's apartment. Somebody was watching her. All right, can I read this first? Hal, Hal, can you sit for a second? I would like to read this this from to to dearest Eve. I will be back to you in a second. <laughs> Let me read this. My dearest Eve, it's been eight long years since our beloved Aunt Andre left us, and four years since you left me. During this time, I have worked tirelessly in the hopes of one day making this world a better place. Today, I have finalized a contract for what I believe to be the final stage of my research. I have named the project after you, my darling. I don't know where the sources of my funding is coming from, but it is little importance as it provided me all the money that I ever need to see my work through. If I am successful, which I believe I will be, people will no longer have to live with their traumas. Traumas and painful events can be erased from the mind. Imagine how wonderful that will be. If such a procedure has had been available eight years ago, neither you nor myself would have had to suffer the way we did when our beautiful 16-year-old daughter left this world. But you would still be alive this t uh, and you would still be alive to this day i will do what i ha i have to to complete my research i am so close even if i have sacrificed a thousand lives so hard as it will be it'll be worth it in a millions one day uh one day will be s millions one day will be saved i love you eve and i always will henry all right well i guess that's why he was um he was doing that. Man. 
Man, I want to know what's in that. All right. <sighs> Tell me more, Hal. Let's go. I'll spare you the technical de uh, details, but in examining this bug, I found a second video feed. It turns out this feed is rooted to the same destination as the bug in Mia's. Whoever was watching Mia is watching this other feed, too. I'll patch Andrews through. You no need to enter a command. No longer needed. I found another backdoor. Okay. I told you we'd be working together again, didn't I? Well, you were right. So I guess Hal has filled you in. The deal is this. If we can find out who's watching these feeds, we can find our mole. But first things first. We need it's going to be our friend, isn't it? Watched in this second feed. Can you help me, operator? I'm happy to help. Thanks, Tanner. Okay, here's the feed. Al Hal told me that to share it, I had to type in, press this, and then... Allie? Allie, huh? Who's Allie? All right. <laughs> you should have access now. Send me the name of the person via the human DB as soon as you have it. Thanks, Operator Tanner. Allison, huh? Allie? Allison? Okay. It's a bucket filled with water. Looks like there's a leak. Did I see anything out the window? That's a window. Is it a dog? Cat? It's a cat! Is this our house? you think we would say something if this was our house, though. Wall is damaged. This type is often caused by humidity and vibrations nearby. Is, is this our place? Do we just like look up us? Do we just look up our name? Hold on. Okay, I didn't want to do that. All right, hold on. Do I just look up myself? Oh, hey, it's us. It's Evan Tanner. It's me. Yeah, that's my apartment. Yeah, right, Tanner. Wait, you're kidding, aren't you? The fuck is going on? Yeah, what the fuck is going on, dude? I have no idea. You have to believe me. What is going on, Hal? <laughs> I don't know either, Evan. This... This doesn't make any sense. I don't know why you're wrapped up in this. Really? But you can trust me, Evan. Uh, you have to trust me. Look, I'm going to prove to you that you can, okay? I'm going to prove once and for all that I'm on your side. The fact that you're being watched means that you're not on their side. I know that now. You remember the file in your trash. You can unlock it using Alice. <gasps> your name is Alice, huh? Oh, what you make you bet this is this is the person that got that had the thing before us that was transferred. 
If you're reading this file, it's because I have trusted you enough to reveal my true identity. My name is Alice Truman, but you know me better as Hal. I was once an operator in the operator program under the Savellus. Oh. Hold on. Um, under the supervisor Xavier Skinner. In fact, I was the operator that re that you replaced. I had an operator for only a few months when I started noticing strange occurrences. When I began to look into these matters, I was I was quickly met with resistance. It soon became apparent that the only way to truly investigate these matters without putting my life in danger was to quit, or rather to to not rouse suspicion, get fired from my job as an operator, which I did by pretending to be incompetent. On the outside, I, ad I adopted the Alice's Hal and was using the skills I learned even before my days at the FDI. Picked up my in in investigation from where I left off. I am a hacker, good one too, but as good as I am, the FDI have proven a worthy adversary. With one of the most advanced security systems in the world, to access their system, I need someone from the inside, That's and that person is you. Maybe it's funny, but I discovered that the trash is the only part of the computer that is not reset between one operator leaving the program and another one joining. So I left this file there for you, and I, using your computer as a backdoor into the FDI terminal system, thank you. And well, there you are. Now you know who I am. You can still leak my identity and get a nice fat reward and spend the rest of your days drinking margaritas on a beach somewhere if you want. But now that you know what I know, I'm hoping that you'll continue to fight alongside me so that we can one day expose them, whoever they are, and however powerful they may be. So, what do you say, Alice? I trust you. I know you're scared. I'm scared too, but we have to keep going, Evan. We have to come- we have come this far. Speaking of which, I have for found more or less where the feed of your apartment is ending up. Oh boy. A margarita sounds good. I, v I vote beaches and, and waifus. Uh, nope. We're not giving- we're not gonna turn Alice in, we're gonna help Alice. Yeah, I'm not sure I wanna know, man. <laughs> it's ending up at the FDI headquarters, Evan. Someone in your building is watching you. <sighs> yeah, I don't get it, why me? The signal is behind a closed network. Looks like our little mole is an FDI supervisor, superior, but I can't learn more from here. You're compromised, so we'll have to send Andrews in um, from her branch office. We'll sneak her into the part of the building where I think the signal is ending up. I'll contact you once she's there. Your head must be spinning, but sit tight, okay? Yeah, spinning is an understatement. <laughs> the people who are watching Mia are watching you? Yeah, I guess so. What is going on? And the feed is ending up at headquarters? Maybe I shouldn't be surprised. Still, I am. Okay, I'm on my way, Tanner. We'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah, that's what scares me. <laughs> Um, I think our buddy, old pal that got us this job is the problem. Operator Tanner. Agent Walker. <laughs> you all right, Tanner? You sound kind of funny. Look. I'm having I'm a day, down okay? Here in the basement with this guy, you know? Mr. Not in any of our databases. Real piece of work, let me tell you. And there's a bit of a hiccup. He says he'll talk, but he'll do it. Under only one condition. Oh no, what's the condition? He says he'll only talk to you. You got to do thought the so. questioning. My two uh, cents. I thought so. This guy, I mean, he's a real pro. We won't get anything out of him unless we play ball. That's just the way it is. 
Uh, what should we do? It's a bit unorthodox pulling an operator into an interrogation, I realize. But if you talk to him, maybe we can find out who this guy is. Why he's been doing, you know, what he's been doing. I still want to know how to open up these other things. But there didn't seem like there was anything here that, like, told us what the rest of them were. All right, I'll do it. I'm putting the phone down between me and our uh, <coughs> little friend here. Hello, Mr. Tanner. Yeah, why do you want to talk to me? Listen. I have a deal for you. I'll answer your questions, but you have to answer mine. And I will know if you lie, so don't. What kind of questions? Simple ones. So every time you answer one of my questions, if I feel you've been honest, I will answer one of yours. Why don't we try one? I'll start. Do you know why I wanted to talk to you? Specifically, you, Mr. Tanner? Oh, I actually do have an idea, but I guess I have to say I have no idea. See? You told the truth. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now, you can ask me a question. Go on. I'm ready. Oh, boy. What is your full name? My name? I have no name. My previous identity was erased when I started doing what I do. Even if I gave you my old name, you wouldn't find it in your database. I've been expunged. They are quite thorough. Now, who is Mike Trench, Mr. Tanner? Um, who is Mike Trench? Oh, he's my friend. Yeah, my friend. Ah, I see. Your turn, Mr. Tanner. Okay, why does he want to know about fucking Trench? Oh, I don't like that. Um. Oh, God. Um. Yeah, what do you know about Project Eve? The fact that you're even mentioning its name means I failed. The goal of Project Eve was to develop a means to alter personal memory, plant new, false memories, and erase old, real memories. Quite valuable. It was started and led by Dr. Henry Jenkins, but it was cancelled after Ooh. there was a leak. There were over a hundred test subjects in Project Eve. When a subject died, which often happened, the subject was buried in the desert, out by Dryfield, at the DFPD. That's all I know about Project Eve. What do you know about Sasha Cole? Yeah, no, I'll sure, we'll share information. All right. What do you know about them? I know that Sasha Cole is missing. <laughs> that I killed Mia Cole by setting fire to her apartment. She was digging around, asking too many questions. At the time, my mission was to ensure the investigation of Sasha Cole would hit a dead end, go nowhere. I don't know anything more about this subject. I only know what was necessary to do my job. How did you come to retrieve the missing footage from the garage? He's gonna know I'm lying though. Fuck it. How? That's really interesting. Now you can ask me a question. Um. Yeah, who's your contact? Hmm. That subject is out of bounds. I never expose the persons I work for or with. That would be unprofessional. You can ask me another question, Mr. Tenor. Okay.
Then why talk to me, I guess? You're more involved in all this than you know. I need to be certain of what you're aware of and what you aren't. Again, you don't know what I know and what I don't. Lying is a very risky proposition. And do you know Hal's true identity? Yes. Sorry? What? <coughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk about this later, Tanner. What's <laughs> Hal's name? It's my turn. You're right. <laughs> it is. Uh, why did you ask me about Mike? It was a control question. I know about your relationship with him. I wanted to make sure that you would tell the truth. Maybe that answer disappoints you, but it's the truth. Anyway, it's my turn. What is Hal's true identity? I won't tell you. In that case, I think we're done here. I'll take things from here. Come on, let's go, Mr. No Name. Back to your palatial cell. Tanner, you and I'll talk later. Understood. All right, Andrews is in the building. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. I maybe got myself killed. I don't know. It's fine. All right, um, so she's in the elevator going up. She'll call you soon. In the meantime, let me bring you up to speed. Our goal is to access the server room on the 11th. But first, Andrews will enter a technician's locker room on the same floor to grab a key. With that key, she can enter the room and we can find out who our mole is. Uh, yeah, why the server room? Once Andrew plugs in the server device that I gave her, it will give us access to every sub-network in the FDI. Whoever the source of this video feed is, and whoever's behind it, we'll find out there. You can ask Mike for help? No. I know Mike is your friend, but we have to handle this on our own, Evan. Contacting Trench will bring too much attention and alert the mole to our pr uh, presence. This is our last chance. Yeah, what if she gets caught? Then maybe we go to the federal prisons for the rest of our lives. But more likely, we'd all end up dead long before we ever got there. Andrews has memorized the floor plan. But let me give you access to the security cameras to assist her. Oh boy. I don't know if I want to do that. Enjoy the peeping! One last thing. What? No matter what happens, no matter what we find out. Thank you. You're not such a bad operator after all, Evan. Maybe even better than I was. Smiley face. <laughs> Tanner, are you there? I'm here. Okay, I'm on the 11th outside the door. Not gonna lie, I'm a bundle of nerves. Breathe, Catherine, breathe. You see me, right? Uh, yeah, I see you. Oh no. Bad news, Tanner. The code Hal gave me isn't working. Not the start I was hoping for. Alright, I'm on it. The code doesn't work. Damn. They must have changed it. Okay. Change of plans. Send Andrews down to the 8th. Um, your floor, actually. No code is needed to get inside. From there, you'll guide her to the emergency stairway, which she can use to go back up to the 11th. All right, got it. Uh, 
Like, there don't seem to be anybody. All right, go I, down to the eighth. That's the operator floor. Can I bring you a coffee or anything? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I tend to make bad jokes when I'm nervous. No, that was great. That was great. I love that. I love that for you. Okay, I'm sending you the floor plan for the eighth. Uh, you'll have to guide her. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, I'm back down at eight. Just one problem. I don't know this floor, Tanner. But I guess you probably do, right? Anyway, I'm in the entrance, doing my best not to look suspicious. But it's hard when you're basically waiting in a pool of your own sweat. Where do I go? Uh, you're waiting at the entrance. So, you want to go left? Alright, I'm in a hallway now. There's a door straight ahead. There's a hallway okay. to the right and one to the left. Where do I go? You want to go right. Take the right? Okay. Okay, there's a door at the end of the hallway. Two doors uh -huh. on the right. One door uh -huh. in the hallway on the left. Where do I go now? The hallway on the left. Gotcha. The hallway's a dead end. That leaves us with a hallway to the right and two doors. Do I take the right door or the left door? Hall. Oh, okay. On um, the hallway, uh, you want the left door. All right. I see the door to the stairway. Phew. I can breathe a little easier now. Okay, I'm heading back up to 11. Follow me on the cameras. Oh, there she is. All right, I'm back at 11, outside the stairway door. What do I do? I assume I can't knock. All right, she's at the stairway door. Just a second, I am checking something. All right. Okay. She should be able to use her badge. Use your badge. Okay, I'm in the hallway, en route to the locker room. Looks clear. Follow me on the cameras. Okay. <gasps> Someone's coming. Okay. Close call. Tell me when it's clear. All right. Oh, no, not clear. Do I have to wait for them to come back around, maybe? Um, all clear? Come on. Where is she? Okay, I'm approaching the technician locker room. I'm not hearing okay. any noises from inside. That's good. It's good. good. You gotta be kidding me. The locker room needs a code too. I know it's the FDI, but this is excessive. Alright, I'm on it. Need a code for the locker room. Unfortunately, I can't figure that out from here. You and Catherine will have to figure that out on your end. Sad face. Alright, what do we do? Uh, the problem is I am not in the FDI network. My actions are limited and I will use my usual methods. It will end up exposing us. And that's why they have changed the code. But I have an idea. I'll connect you to the lock system, giving you access to the logs. You and Catherine will try different codes and check the logs. Okay, you should be able to reverse engineer and find the correct code. Think of it as a game, smiley face. Not my idea of a game. 
All right, you can do it. Use the notepad if you need to. All right. Enter the following command into the terminal. Okay. Anki FD I dot L one one dot L C K space logs. All right. Command does not exist. Fuck. Oh, I forgot the SSH. Sorry. My bad. My bad. I did not realize that was part of it. Everyone hold still. It's fine. <laughs> All right, we're going to try some codes, okay? Try some codes? Seriously, that's our plan, Tanner? Yeah. I, um... Okay, Co code format. It is for... Result none of digits. Oh, too many digits. Okay, so it's a five digit and one of those might be right. One, two, three. And then if I put the one back in there and then a two. Okay. So one, two, three, and then the one, two. Okay. So four, three, four, one, two? No. Five, three, five, one, two. Oh, six, three, five, one, two. Oh, I messed that up. Um, oh, well, it wasn't six anyway, so it's fine. Seven, three, five, one, two. I'm going in. Are you following me on the camera? Um I'm in. All right. Time to find the right 735 this one. Okay. I'm going to need a minute. Just in case it. we need that again. In the meantime, we'll put that over there. Make sure the path to the server room is clear. It should be, but just check. It's not. Yeah, there's someone out front. What? Okay, well, make them go away, Tanner. Um Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> There's someone in the front room. <laughs> There's someone in the service room. Uh, what? I guess the floor 11 changed their seating configuration. Send me this person's ID. I'll see what I can do. I guess just their name? Alright, I'll send you their name. Rebecca Davis. Give me a few seconds, and then play along. Okay? Okay. Oh no. Oh no, we have to call them?! Rebecca Davis. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, it's IT. Your computer has an issue. Oh. Who am I speaking to? Matthew Smith? Matthew Smith? Really? Yep. Because on my mm -hmm. end, it says Evan Tanner. Why does it say Evan Tanner when your name is actually Matthew Smith? Yeah, I'm replacing him. And you said you're from IT? Is that it? Yeah, that's correct. Hmm. Because on my computer, it says you're an operator. Right here beside your name. 
Why is an operator working in the IT department? Uh, they needed a little help. Well, that makes sense. They are often severely understaffed and cranky. You know, <laughs> I just thought of something. <sighs> Usually when I deal with IT, I deal with Chuck so Peter. Fine. His car impounded. Uh. Oh, God. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. On, on. He is single. He's not married. Uh, his car was impounded. Well, it was bound to happen. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've told Chuck to stop parking in the alley behind the building. It's a fire hazard. But can we just put a pin in this talk of Chuck for a second and go back? You said you spotted an issue with my computer. What was the issue? Um, unusual activity? I don't know. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> uh, unusual activity. Unusual activity? To be honest, the only unusual activity is this conversation that you and I are having. And why does it have to be dealt with right now? During normal working hours? I'm just following orders, man. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> if that's the situation... So, what would I have to do to fix this issue? Take a break. I'll take care of everything. Take a break? That's going to be hard. I'm working on something, actually cafeteria finance report you'd be shocked to learn how much the fdi is spending on tapioca pudding mm. hot damn how long do you think this would take to fix uh just a few minutes just a few minutes well in that case i think i'll stay here and read my magazine it's a new magazine it has Shit. that nice new magazine smell know what i mean <laughs> Fuck! Well, I'm really failing at this. <laughs> uh, it it could actually take a long time, you though. Said, Look, maybe I'm overreacting, but little alarm bells are suddenly going off in my head. <laughs> so just to be safe, I think I'll go report this interaction to security in person. I'm sure you can understand. Mm, have a nice day. Well, I fucked that up, um, just so you know. <laughs> I fucked up that. Well, yeah. <laughs> I fucked that up real bad. Um, yeah, you got her out of the way. Yep, that is true. She's on her way to security, but we're already worried about that later. Rebecca's gone. Never mind. Anyway, it's taken me forever. But I almost picked this lock. Are you watching me? I am now. There, finally. You did it. I got the key. I'm heading toward the server room. Should be there in a few seconds. Follow me on the cameras. I'm in. Okay. Are we breaking into the FDI where we work? Yes. Yeah. All right. Time to plug Alice's device in. Okay. It's plugged in. All right. It's plugged in. Okay. Let me check. It's working. We're finally going to find our mole. It's okay, I'm gonna get myself fired or murdered. Well, most likely. Ooh. Understood. What's going on, Tanner? It's a security Did alert. I, spot it? I don't know. It was me. Is this because of Rebecca? 
No. I don't think they'd trigger a FDI-wide alarm for that. Was Andrew compromised? No, uh, she'd already be in cuffs if that were the case. Okay. Make sure Andrew stays put. I've almost found out who our mole is. Alright, it's not for you. Keep going. Okay. Who's the mole? Al? Oh no, we've lost Hal. Alice? Who's the FDI mole? It's my friend, isn't it? It's my friend all along. It's my friend. <sighs> Why wouldn't I? Who is it? It's Drench. Yeah, I kind of figured that one out already. Mike? I'm looking for proof. Uh, relaying the news to Andrews. Is the director. Trench? Trench is working with them. And this goes all the way to the top. Oh. I logged into computer and found something. What? What did you find? I'm reading an email. It says project operator enters phase three and Sash Cole is ready. If you need to consult the folder, password is B21PISC. Sincerely, Dr. Jenkins. The Sash file in the facility folder. Okay. Alright, hold on. See what you can find there. Alright. B21 PISC. Um, do these other ones use the same password? No, it does not. All right, it's recovering. This was literally not long ago. Is it running? Okay. This is Dr. Jenkins here with control session number 24 for the patient, Sasha Cole. The patient is under trichlorohydrin and has received 10 cc's of FMP 1138 Mark 5 two hours before the following session. All right. Okay. Let's begin. You will answer my questions as usual. One for yes, two for no. Do you <gasps> understand? Oh no! Do oh no, we're part of it! Life? Are you currently restrained? <gasps> Wait, are we Sasha Cole? Are you married? <laughs> okay, so we're part of the experiment Do you too. Work in law enforcement? Do you know who I am? Do you know who you are? Are you Evan Tanner? <gasps> Good. He's ready. We are! I knew it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! Evan, look. The ghost has escaped and killed Trench? That is the reason for the alert. He is coming for you. Get out of there. Do you understand me? Mia. Are we dead? I'm guessing we're dead. I'm guessing we're dead?
Do you know who I am? Do you know who you are? So we were Sasha are you all along. Evan Dead. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Skinner. Okay. Damn it. So Skinner was on our... Skinner was helping us. I haven't heard from her and I don't think so. I told you this would happen, Alice. We should never have included him. The ghost used Evan's badge to get into the eighth floor. He who wants to wipe all the evidence from his computer. We have to stop him. I'll warn security. I'll update your contact. Understood. Yeah, I got good news and bad news. We just go to the trench is the mole. He's been working for the organization maybe for years. I guess I'm Alice now. So we were working with Skinner the entire time. All right, the director of the FDI, incredible. And the bad? One of the contacts was killed in the process and the ghost has escaped. You compromised, Alice. I don't know. I'll keep you in touch. Uh oh. Savior. I think Skinner's dead. Oh God! Sorry, my hand slipped. Oh, thank God. Oh, fuck. You should have left well enough alone, Alice. These deaths are all your fault. Oh, no! I won't let you get away with this. I doubt that very much. I am sure you'll soon end our connection. I'll say farewell. I look forward to meeting you one day, Alice, in person. Oh no, we're exposed. Well, we tried. Nuke protocol. Does this mean we failed?
I feel like we got the bad ending. <laughs> Well, you completed the game. The average impotent double agent killed his superior in cold blood. Wow! <laughs> Prison news agency accidentally burned to the ground. 21 dead. Oh no! Oh yeah, this is definitely the bad ending. Jerry Barry Walker shot dead moments before testimony and biomedical trial. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure we got the bad ending. <laughs> FDI director takes own life and allegations of double agent recruitment. <sighs> Alexander Pendle is missing. No! FDI agent Catherine enters sentence to life after espionage after capturing in the FDI server room. Well, fuck that all up. Well. <laughs> yep, five nights at the FDI. <laughs> I assume there must be a good ending. Um. Well, we know we can do this in one sitting. There is that. In four hours, we can play through this entire game. All right. Is there like something in the... Are you redacted revival? <laughs> so those are all the different sound bites, I guess. Definitely a trap. It's a trap, definitely a trap in the lab defies, defuse the bomb. You're safe now, home three. Escape remix. Lights out remix. Okay. Okay, so you fail? Well. That seems too bad that no matter what you fail. All the special thanks. Our pets, a, a special thanks for the pets. Gotta give a special thanks for the pets. Yeah, it's too bad that there's only one ending. I got an achievement for watching the cutscenes. Oh, somewhere in Paris, France. 07, 12, 2024. That's today. 
No, sir. Well, He's next. Not here. Oh. You think it's her? Check his computer. <gasps> it's her, sir. The message says they know. Burn the place. Understood. You better find her before she does. Or we're done for. <gasps> Oh, it's a prequel. Is this a prequel? Because I think the game came out last month on this day or something like that. Maybe that's when the game came out. Okay. Oh, that's cool, though. So maybe we'll help again next time. Um, snooze those, actually. Please, no ads. I guess it was supposed to fail for, for the second one to, um, exist. It was probably supposed to fail. Okay. Well, this was a really fun. This was a fun game. I had a good time. I think, I think that was fun. Um, that means on Monday, we'll probably start another new game. We'll probably do... I might do Laser Eyes. I have to figure that out. I might do Laser Eyes. Yeah, we haven't played a game like, like that in, in quite a while. Yeah! It was fun! I had a really good time. I want more games like that, darn it. <laughs> I haven't had a fun puzzle game in a while. That made me work and use my brain. I miss the good brain games. <laughs> uh, we still had Lorelei and the Laser Eyes to play. So that might be next. I'm not sure. But it's on my list. It's on my list of games I, I, I got to play. But yeah. I knew the Operator was probably only going to be like a one day game or the, you know. Last puzzle game was the escape room simulator. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Why? Well, I I play that one off and on, no matter what. If there's a new thing. It's been a little harder to play puzzle games recently since Wind um, Wind's been working, and normally I played him. I played them with him, so I had to get into the habit of maybe playing some of these games by myself. <laughs> Because I really, I do really love puzzle games and such like that. Um. Who to weigh today? That is always the question. Um. Let's raid into some raft, sure. I got someone playing Raft. We can read them. It's been a little bit. Play some of Wynn's games. Oh, God. No. We play very different games. <laughs> we play very different games. But yeah, um, I'll have it all figured out by Monday, hopefully. And thank you all. It was it was lots of fun. This game was really good. So I can't wait to play the next one and find out. Find hopefully they they put out another one we can play that will maybe continue the story and that'd be cool. Um but otherwise we got some Lorelei next time probably, unless I find another quick game that would be fun. 
and talk Wynn into playing with me somehow on Saturdays or something. I don't know. I have to figure it out. I have to figure it out. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thank you all. We're gonna we're gonna go raid. Next time when we'll be playing Valheim and can't play Remnant. God. Ah no thank you. <laughs> it's like no thank you. No, tomorrow we'll be playing some V Rising with the ladies. It's V Rising Day. Is tomorrow more V Rising? Cause we enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> but thank you everyone. We're gonna go raid. I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, we'll be gonna be vampires. It'll be vampire day. Woo.